Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Oh. Oh. <laughs> In the vision. Did a 380. Oh, oh you. Still is. Wow. <laughs> hello. Hello. It's uh, Thursday? Wednesday? It is Thursday. Friday? It is. Thursday. Saturday? Thursday. It's Thursday. <laughs> You're no, all... it's Wednesday. Oh, right. It is Wednesday. Oh, I was thinking for tomorrow because I got a bunch of stuff to do. There you go. Well, you can see we're all on track tonight, guys. Ready for another? We are all mixed up in days. Yeah. Yesterday I thought it was Wednesday. Today it's all, all uh, upside down. It's unbelievable. Uh, out, hello and around. welcome to our uh, Wednesday Wisdom Talks uh, Tube Talk. Welcome. Oh, sorry, I was looking at the chat. You were talking. I think you were talking. Yuji, go on for a bit. So I was just looking here. I was talking with you. Oh, okay. Hi. I haven't uh, seen you for a while, so I yeah, no, talk with you. it's it's good to catch up. Uh, <laughs> Well, let me get ready for talks. Okay. There you go, folks. Okay. That's better. Uh, so welcome, welcome to our show tonight. Uh, tonight we're going to have amazing girls, two sisters. This is true. Uh, yeah. Uh, from the channel Beauty and the Burr. Uh, two girls, two sisters, uh, Heidi and Heather. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Yes. Uh, you're asking me, you're the one with the memory, not me. So. They live in Pittsburgh. Uh, they are from Pittsburgh. Uh, they both mm -hmm. have families and kids of so different ages. Mm -hmm. And they are a lot of fun and funny. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of fun and funny. There's yeah, no, they like are. You would day. think, like, you know, yeah. they do, mm -hmm. like, a, um, you know, like beauty stuff to do yeah. remember uh like unboxing and trying things on and and oh, things like that like, you know, oh like, uh, sorry you know, like, there we go like i said guys tight ship nothing ever goes wrong here and uh yeah but but uh watching them is really uh fun there's always some jokes in there and things like that so uh we're definitely excited to see them on our show later on uh Definitely stick around for that. And just, they are in the chat as well tonight. So a round of applause. They are, and, and they are quite well. funny. Like because you've I've seen them before, but you've watched more of their stuff. And when you showed me some again today that I had missed, I was like, yeah, these girls are hilarious. Like they got such a great attitude going and that. I'm just laughing at crowd beer pours. I almost got excited. Thought it was thirst, thirsty Thursdays for a minute. <laughs> 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 well, we can somehow make it. Uh... Oh, good. I seen Brandon a while ago in Jada uh, Diva's uh, uh, live stream, who hadn't had one in a while. Well, that was cool to catch. It yeah. was really cool. Maybe Winky Wednesday or something. That's uh, <laughs> that, that, yeah, there, we'll put that one on the maybe pile. <laughs> As I was saying, Jada was great to see him. <laughs> <laughs> Where you come up with some stuff? I don't know. No. <laughs> Jaded uh, uh, had live stream tonight, and last week hit 1K and uh, did a, a shout out video and uh, craft beer pours is in it, and of course, us as well. So that oh, was really cool. Oh, that's nice. Yep. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, thank you so much. That's always amazing. And Jaded said he's usually here. He doesn't talk all the time because he doesn't want to uh, interrupt all the streams like he's talking. But like, good God, love having you come in. <laughs> love having people recognize you. Say hi. You. Say hi. Definitely. <laughs> uh, we also had a shout out uh, from Panic DVDs on their last live stream. Uh, they were showing off us wearing yeah, their t-shirts. That was and, so cool. But also uh, having some very nice, kind uh, things to they're, say about us. They're such um, an amazing couple. Yeah. You can see our retweet, and I'm definitely going to be retweeting uh, Jada Diva's uh, shout out as well. For sure, for because sure. that's what we do. That's right. Uh, uh, Two ten ninety is here, so that's great, guys. We I just sent uh, this is Todd. I just we sent you um, Twitter a while ago again. So excellent. So good to have you here. Uh, it's great to see some new faces, as well, uh, yes. the same as some um, uh, traditional viewers. That's uh, right. It's a good mix. Uh, yeah, as Panic D was saying, we have replaced their TV programming. Yeah, uh, I love that. That was cool. Every day, 
six nights a six six nights nights a week. week. <laughs> uh, so we appreciate that. Um, what our channel is about? Well, a funny thing you are asking. Uh, as um, we are a husband and wife team. We, uh, yes, we are based in Montreal this in Canada. True. Uh, and uh, we actually, by day, by trade, we make uh, videos and photos, uh, photographer and videographer for families, uh, personal occasions and business. Uh, and at the same time, we're here on YouTube getting up close and personal with YouTube creators from all around the world. That's right. From New Zealand to UK and North and South America, everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, every night we're here from Monday to Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern. That means six times a week we're here yep. on Live with Pusha uh, with our special guests uh, every day except for Tuesday, what is Tuesday Tech Talk. And also new in the chat. So uh, that's what we are about. Mm -hmm. uh, you can watch our uh, cinematic videos on our playlist. You can find on our channel. Um, me by yours sincerely. And you can go on our Instagram. All of our links are in the description. And you can see photos taken by yours truly. <laughs> <laughs> and Thank you. Part of the husband wife team. Uh, yeah. So uh, that's what we do here. Um, we started our live streams uh, just uh, two months and a week ago. This is our 61st live stream. Yeah, we started on 29th of March. Yeah, yeah. that's what was our start date. Uh, and uh, yeah, we've been uh, live showing ever since. Live showing. You're coming up with some pretty interesting terms tonight. There. You're just I have a brain fog. Yeah. <laughs> um, just yeah, so uh, we have interviewed. Uh, uh, 50 some guests uh, over these two months. Yeah. Uh, and I wouldn't really call them interviews. They're more like a chit chat about uh, their lives and life in general. Um, like they would sit in our living room because this is our living room. I want to share something with you guys. Uh, some of you know us already. Some are new here. Um, in February, we had 42 subscribers and a bunch of cinematic videos. Two had taken off and the rest didn't seem to go anywhere. There were a lot of work. I was done with it. Then I seen a video by Peter McKinnon and he really inspired me to get back into it when the apocalypse thing started. And I'm like, well, how are we going to do this? And as of today, we're at 1,620 some subscribers. And we had no watch time. And the only two videos we had for watch time, one has already ran out because you need the last 365 days. And the other one's just about to run out. So we were pretty much uh, starting out from scratch, I would say, in a way. So if anybody's feeling down, you can't get back up and stuff like that, I want to show you something. This is in the last 90 days. Oh, I should have put it on... Uh... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, because I shut it off sometimes when it plays with it, but I've left this up. I'm going to put it on uh, back on autofocus. So, apologies. Uh, that's better. There we go. Now, if you guys can see that, that's pretty much, I put it for 90 days, but really it's in the last pretty much 60. That's what the live streams have given us pretty much. It's 217,000 change minutes. And, and if we look at the last 365 with the ones that are gone. Today we hit our chance to monetize. And that's all been pretty much since February. So I said it the other night, and I'm going to say it once again. You guys are unbelievable, fantastic. Thank Some, you so Thank you much. so much. You guys did this. See that spike over there? That's my last video that went anywhere. And because of you guys, look at since we started doing the live streams. So I can't thank you enough. You guys are absolutely unbelievable people. And I hope we give some amount back to you guys for everything that you've given to us. Um, I wanted to say that again and show you. So we applied this morning. And the only catch is this on the phone, of course, with the, with the app. It's showing a day ahead of itself. So we have to wait for tomorrow for everything. We were short nine hours, but everything's done. So we'll go through the application tomorrow. And we have no dreams of making big money, no dreams of getting rich off it. If it happens, it would be the greatest thing on earth. From the beginning, we want to monetize if we're going to do this because we have a business outside of this called Pusha Studios that does weddings, corporate events, and we just want our company to be seen more. 
But if it was ever to take off, I would love to do it. So, but it's not the dreams. Don't worry, we don't live in fogs. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my God. Uh, we're just going to be yeah. happy to uh, be more visible in uh, yep. in uh, business um, for photography uh, in Canada, especially in Quebec. So thank you guys for yeah. helping us you guys are absolutely uh, on our daily jobs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, uh, thank you for all the nice words. And oh, as yeah. Andrew said, without you guys, it wouldn't be possible. Uh, and we're still continuing on because we like doing it. Exactly. It's twenty. The, we're like 20% of the equation at most. We give a platform for it to be. We have Blue Wrench, Blue Wrench Group. <laughs> We do anybody new here we do that because everybody's respectful to each other we're not a sub for sub it's a hangout you get to know your neighbor definitely if you just want to join each other we're happy to see it this is filtering out the cream of the crop and that's what makes us so proud and you guys make the largest part of it and then of course our guests so we're very honored to have you guys oh i love it chris uh, i love what you all wrote i just want to like christy you're welcome thanks for the great content well as long as everybody's getting something out of it, we've always tried to put the integrity into the live streams that we put into our cinematics or our photography. Yes. We didn't want to just kill time to get that. So. Uh, yesterday we uh, had a, a great uh, Tuesday Tech Talk. Uh, uh, people were volunteering uh, Baben's suggestion uh, to, um, I don't know how to even say it, to be viewed, <laughs> yeah. the channels to be uh, featured, uh, yes. highlighted. Uh, and we gladly shared what we know uh, about what uh, you can do with your uh, YouTube channel. Uh, no, we are not experts, but we're always glad to help. I see ADJ Travels was saying that they changed their playlist. I know uh, Donnie changed their about section, um, you know, and so on and so on. Um, got amazing uh, replies today on Twitter after yesterday. Uh, so thank you so much. You guys are so amazing. Uh, much appreciated uh, if we can help. Uh, as we say, we're not experts, but mm -hmm. uh, we are glad to. We share all work what together. We know. Oh, real kid, you're too kind. All of you guys are too kind with the words. Uh, thank you so much. And you guys are unbelievable channels. That's what's worked. And I know you guys can't make it here all the time. Life is life, and there's many things to watch, and you got to try and spread your support as much as you can. Uh, you're not watching videos 24 hours a day. So we always say, any amount of time you can spend with us is valuable. Your time is valuable, and whatever you spend with us, we hugely appreciate. And you guys are the cream of the crop. Because you've seen once in a while when somebody comes in here and tries to screw around or ask for a bunch of stuff, they leave within five minutes because they see everybody's a moderator, nobody pays them attention, and they just go their merry way. So that's how we've been able to get this cream of the crop coming in here all the time. I'm more proud of that than pretty much anything else in this whole live stream. That's what's so cool. Which is not really a live stream anymore. We've changed the name now. Tube Talk. Tube Talk. <laughs> how do you like our new name? What? Well, I'm still using hashtag live with Pusha. Yeah, yeah, because it's still in the hashtag. It's still yeah. in the tags and everything but, else. But uh, the video. official title and our new uh, rejuvenated thumbnails are Tube Talk. Yep. How do you like it? Oh, you're taking all uh, Thank you so much, Act Natural, and thank you so much for coming. So good to have you here. And uh, LAJ got the, their 4,000 yesterday, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah, I just seen oh, it. Oh, uh, I didn't know. Through. Congratulations. <laughs> I answered your uh, DM, by the way. I was a couple days late. I never, they're getting rid of that on YouTube. Anybody doesn't know that? As of July 9th, the private one will be gone. The one that you see inside uh, inside the, uh, the YouTube studio, your creator studio, that will be gone. The, the one that That's they gone. just started, that one will be gone. No, that one will be there. It's the one in your creator studio is going to be gone. It's oh, the yeah? messaging one's going to be gone. The one inside, oh. the, if you read it, even it says the one in the creator studio. Okay. I that, no, no, that one's gone. No, actually. I meant to tell you that earlier because we were saying, no, I went back and checked again to double check. It's the private message one. And good to know. Because it was horrible. That's why they're rolling out this one because nobody ever used it. And it's, it's, it's like we can't even use it to send a link to somebody to come on our show as the guest because it's so unreliable. So, got lots of, you want to do name calls? Yes, sure, definitely. Uh, I hate to interrupt you. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm a little bit off the game today. Uh, I'm uh, our daughter is still sick, mm. and um, 
She's had a really bad flu the last I couple of days. I to make an appointment uh, with the doctor for tomorrow. Hopefully we're going to be back in time uh, for our live stream. Uh, oh, God, never even thought of that. Yeah, no, well, it should yeah. be. It's a walk-in clinic, but it's a walk-in clinic, but you have to make an appointment and then hope that they take you in time. Yeah. And the only earliest time was tomorrow evening. Like, that's just how system works here, so... Okay, <laughs> so if I seem distracted, that's why. Uh, not uh, doing really anything else. I'm just uh, thinking about um, about our Audrey. Mm. Okay, uh, so who do we have here today? So Act Naturally was saying bye-bye, but they're still somehow on. <laughs> uh, Beauty and the Bird, of course. Them here. <laughs> uh, yes, of course, of course, you guys. Uh, we're going to be sending you a link uh, quite shortly. Uh, CeeLo, hello, welcome back. Christopher Spence, hello, hello. Dexter Tank, Florida Pirate Adventures, Halos and Heathens. Uh, I see Annalise is uh, Neil there as well. Are you got both of you guys today? Uh, Christy K9, LAJ, uh, welcome back. Love and Epic, uh, I was waiting for you to pop out. Um, Michael Johnston, welcome back. Oreo Kid is from Ontario, by the way. Oh, sorry? Oreo Kid is from Ontario, Yeah, I just seen that a way. while ago. Um, Panic cool. videos, of course. Uh, Philip Cochran, what are you making for supper today? <laughs> Rolling Hobbs and, and Wild Edibles. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Sylvie, hello. And Terrell, the original. That's right, our original Blue Wrench. And mm -hmm. our 21090 Brewing is in. That's cool, yeah. We're, who we're talking to right now, just met today on uh, Jada uh, Diva's stream. Yeah, so welcome uh, to Very our cool. chat. Welcome to our show tonight. Uh, mm -hmm. It's Wednesday with the um, tube top. That's right. <laughs> I know, I know, hun, it's been a rough couple of days for all. Tube top. We're like you guys, top. and we have lots of stuff in the real world as well. We've had contractors here for two days, a daughter that was like super, super ill, and all those great things put together. So. Yeah, so that's yeah. why I'm. Uh, we are a bit uh, distracted. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and mm. fingers crossed we'll make it back tomorrow uh, for the live stream in time. I'll maybe call you know who and see if maybe they can drive. Yeah, and do that. So. Yeah, we'll see. Well, that, but that's tomorrow. Yeah. So because tomorrow we have night, 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 night. Night shame. Night shame is on. Night shame. <laughs> night shame. <laughs> that's tomorrow. Too. Yeah. That's going to be really, really good, guys. So that's going to be cool. Uh, uh, we've had such a mix of guests from all different walks of YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That was, that was funny. That yeah. was cheesy and funny. And <laughs> no shame. He's got, well, I don't even, I love doing his voice because I just, I mesmerized by his voice. I couldn't even believe his age. Yes, Panic D, we know that. And we hope to finish by 10 as well. Yeah. Uh, so let's see how that one goes. Hopefully start on time, so then we can finish on time. Yes, exactly. We have to do, he wanted to do a test too, and I change it. Yes. it today or tomorrow? Uh, either or, I think. Okay, I'll get in touch with him. Yeah. yeah. Right well, then. before the live stream, so. Uh, H C A. Oh. H Casto. Thank you. H Casto, oh, wait. I got to <laughs> bring you. my computer a little closer. I start getting like... Doing the old thing with the spectacles like this. Mm -hmm. Which is that? Yeah, <laughs> two ten ninety brewing. Um, well, everybody say hi to two ten yep. ninety brewing. Welcome, uh, with our warmest welcomes and friendly chats. Yeah. Um, you're gonna meet a lot of supportive people in here. A lot of good people. A lot of what it is is a lot of people in here that has been is in it for the long haul. That's what I mean by cream of the crop. They're not fly by nights. They're not anything. They're really good people. Sylvie's from Ca uh, Canada, from Quebec, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah. Welcome. Bonjour. Comment ça va? I don't expect him to type in French. I'm sorry. My written is horrible. <laughs> uh, I'm just scrolling back in the chat in case, guys, I missed somebody. Um, oh, she's a friend of Beauty and the Burr. Mm, that's good. So you're coming from Excellent. their channel. Welcome, so welcome. welcome over. Ça va bien. C'est parfait. Excellent. Uh, tube Talk sounds great. 
Oh, thank uh, you. I thought it was a show about two socks. Ha, 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 Philip. <laughs> I had a feeling there was two or three in the chat. I was like, <laughs> um, Jessica Paris MUA. Hi. How are you tonight? Welcome. Ooh. About what's I always go and look when I can. Welcome to my channel. I do makeup reviews, tutorials, hauls. If it's anything at all to do with makeup, I probably do it. Well, there you go. Well, that's great. Can't check much of it out right now, but you know what? You're a friend of them, so you're a friend of ours. So here we How go. How about a tutorial on fake eyelashes? And <laughs> we'll blue wrench you. Waiting for that one. Yeah, you guys were talking about that last. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, because uh, um, uh, Brenda's uh, beauty blogs that we had uh, last week, uh, she doesn't use fake eyelashes. I went to Blindly Honestly live stream and I got some tips on how to do it live. Okay. But I still have some questions. So I wonder if uh, anybody out there has an actual tutorial on it. We have somebody else new here, Chrissy83XO. Welcome. Good to have you here. It's good to see some new faces as well. That's the great thing about having varied guests. Everybody's learning because a lot of you guys have specialty channels, and that's the nice thing about this. We help you get to know people from other groups. And uh, it's nice to have that mix because uh, it's like hanging around with a group of kids at school. It's always good to meet another group. So, Oh, Jessica just did a tutorial on fake eyelashes. Oh, well, wow, girl, thank you. I'm going to mm -hmm. go and check that out. Thank you so much. I'm going to go check that out after. I only used it uh, once for my, well, for our wedding. And uh, maybe once on Halloween, like the colored ones. I always get so confused and I don't understand when I'm supposed to trim off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't much help. <laughs> uh, so just a little bit more clearance would be great. Uh, so I'm definitely going to be checking that out. Yes. See, that's what it's all about, helping each other out. That's cool. It's so. a real panther. Hey. Welcome back. Good to see you. Whoa, ya. whoa, whoa. How are you? You're looking for Bob Saget <laughs> right about now. That's right. <laughs> Great to see you. How you been doing? <coughs> Amazing, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Hope everything is well. Uh, my god yeah very diverse awesome youtube fam that's right and thank you guys yesterday who uh posted hashtag blue wrench selfie we did an expromptu uh challenge uh we were talking about doing selfies and how hard of a time i have doing it uh so we as being live um us and people in the chat you guys some of you were posting selfies on twitter under hashtag blue wrench selfie so uh, go check it out. It's uh, quite funny. Some of them. <laughs> uh, we were learning how to do that. How about we try this? Because our new hashtag is Blue Wrench Group. How about everybody who wants to take a selfie right now of them watching the live stream under the hashtag Blue Wrench Group? Since we changed the name of our series and stuff like that, that would be really cool. <laughs> so if you guys want to take a selfie, you're watching yourself, you guys watching in the live stream under the hashtag Blue Wrench Group. Now this is gonna take forever for me again. Hey, RT Jake, what's up? It's always summer. Yes. Great name, by the way. Now. Thank you, Oreo Kid. This time, do we have a, a duck lip or no duck lip? No duck lip. So awful. I don't do duck lip. I so don't <laughs> understand how people do selfies. You want me to press it? Just bring your hand in closer. Okay. Look at all that in the background. That's awful. Oh my god. Oh tell me when you're ready. That's gonna be never. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Good. Awful. Look at <laughs> Lemon that looks like I have a blue eye. Oh well that's cool. <laughs> that's great. That's, that's why good. It works. Selfie. It works. Okay. Oh my god, we gotta bring our guest on Hunter. Slow. There you capture my frustration. Oh my <laughs> there you go. You uh, capture my frustration. Congratulations. Put that one on. <laughs> okay. Uh, Blue Ranch Group. Yes. 
how do we put up the selfie? Uh, well, you tweet it out, uh, press the feather, attach the picture, or, and put the Blue Ranch selfie in it. Oh, a Blue Ranch group. I'm sorry, you're confusing yeah, me. Yeah, that's what I said, because it's under our new one, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you remember those commercials in the 70s they used to have for pain medication for headaches? <laughs> like one of those right Real Pather says, oh, I missed you. Miss uh, 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 Bush always <laughs> looks like she's secretly plotting something. Uh -huh. Yeah, Is that going to Facebook? No, this one is going to Twitter. Do you have Twitter? If you have Twitter... And just mark it hashtag, hashtag Blue Wrench Group. You got me stuttering. <laughs> oh, and we forgot that H H cast is Hannah, A P G H daughter that we banned a couple times. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, this time we'll try to remember. Oh my oh, god! Oh my god! She was on that night. She wrote, uh, "Be quiet," like as a joke, like to her parents, like "Be quiet," or to her father, and thought it was getting yeah, rough yeah, around yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. like, <laughs> banned her. <laughs> Potato sack. Yes, thank. Anybody new here? That's my safety word when things get out of control with Xenia. And I need an adult. Yeah, because I'm, I get quite out of you control do, you here. Do. Well, I mean, we still love you though, so it's all good. Oh my, <laughs> Bits of Real Panther, is is that why you have been absent? Yes, Panic, that's exactly it, showing us one. I love it. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, now, by the time I'm going to do anything with that, it's, uh, the morning is going to come to me <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> I'm so bad at something. This is unbelievable. You just can't do it and let it go. I can't. Oh, because... oh my God, almighty. Well, it's soon time to bring out our lovely guest for this evening. So, if you're doing it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey. my God. Hi, Mom. Oh, like... <laughs> well, we got, definitely got to give her a blue wrench so she's safe. <laughs> and we can at least keep from <laughs> less chance of banning her if she's got a blue wrench. So. Oh my God, we are really uh, confused. Okay, let's bring on our guests, uh, our amazing <laughs> guests. What are you <laughs> drunk? <laughs> no, I have no. lack of pills in my system. <clears throat> Jeez, oh my God, you made chill. Okay, we're sending off that old link. Let's see, there we go, guys. There, so Beauty and the Bar, we just sent you the link. And uh, guys, while you're waiting uh, and we are waiting for our guests to join us, uh, please hit that like button, smash that uh, share button. And if you are too lazy to do that, go over to our Twitter profile. And, oh, you uh, stop saying that catchphrase. And, uh, <laughs> well, that's why it's a catchphrase. Oh, and uh, reshare our poster for the stream, the more and the merrier. And if you're too lazy to do even that, that's okay too. Uh, and Austin is uh, Beauty and Diverse son. Who, who's, a, who's, how do you say it? Which one of you's? Which one of you? Oh, I like that picture. Yeah, that's cool, Panic. That's actually really cool. Your picture of Austin TV is better than selfie. That's my favorite. Because <laughs> <laughs> they made a decision and ran with it. That's why the number one. There you go, guys. That's really cool. That's really cool. And now you're going to retweet it. And thank you so much, Oreo. I gotta retweet it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just no. Now that just retweet. Yeah, that's easy enough. Yes, guys, I suck on uh, Twitter. <laughs> no big secret there, is it? I've been quite vocal, but now I suck on Twitter. Uh, Beauty and the Bird, we sent it in uh, Twitter, so you have the link, and when you guys are ready. Looking forward to having you on. If you have any trouble, just uh, answer back in Twitter and give me your uh, email that you use for Google Hangouts. Oh, thank you, Chrissy83. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, Florida Pirates Adventure. 
I love your name. I love anything with R. I just want to R, and, and probably you've heard it so many times you get sick of it. <laughs> it's just good. Yes, more coffee. We are also coffee yeah. addicts. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a big. We gotta change that out of focus. Uh, yeah, of taking our that back camera. off. Thank you, by the way, Panic, for uh, the suggestion about downloading the software for it to adjust it because yes. yeah, it was uh, it uh, solved a lot of things. You're a lifesaver, mate. We're so supportive of each other tonight. Every time one talked to them, I was like, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's that whole family unit, guys, we've been talking about. <laughs> That's what got us We're a little here. slow today. Yeah. So if you're new to our channel, don't mind us. Yeah. We're going to be better tomorrow. Well, I don't know about that. I'm, I'm trying to set this up. I'm, can you uh, talk? <laughs> What the hell is going on tonight? <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Oh. We got finally get a chance of being monetized, and everything goes to hell in a handbasket. <laughs> yeah, uh, just not. I'm not. I'm not where I'm supposed to be. Daddy's like, hello, hey, hello. How are welcome, you? Welcome, welcome. Uh, by the way, if any of you guys want to be a guest on our channel, please uh, use the same link as I just posted. I'll just do that again. Uh, and message us on Twitter, and yep. we'll try and set up time that works uh, for you. Um, we got a few blocks, and plus there's always some cancellations and yeah. stuff like that. Uh, so so uh, don't be shy. Go ahead and uh, uh, get in touch with us. We'll figure it out. And uh, as all, like lots of our guests have said before, you know, they are nervous before coming on, but then first 10 minutes uh, passes, and they even forget that they are on live so um don't worry about being uh nervous uh, no nope. it's okay uh it's not uh, we're, just, we're still not really getting at all by the looks of it here tonight again so you're a good answer with us <laughs> yeah. do i have to wear a shirt to be a guest well you can't be naked so if that's the question <laughs> <laughs> that's bits of real pants are always piling the hard questions so. hey hello, hello girls. Oh. you look wonderful tonight heather forgot her password so we like had to redo the whole thing she's like i don't know i don't know i'm like i can't and then i said to change it three months ago i'm like i don't remember what i changed it to so we just changed it i have no we changed it again play. we don't know oh. what we changed it to but we did but hello but hello. hello. How are you? We're fine. We're How are you? Sweating now. Oh no! You, you've you've yeah. seen our you've seen enough of our shows. You've seen our opening, so have no fear. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, we did it. No, we're here. Oh, we're here. before I forget, Andrew, somebody wanted me to ask you a question. Oh. There's somebody that says that they know you like them, that you're in love with them. Patsy. I was going to say right away. <laughs> I knew right away where this is going. Oh, God almighty. Yes. <laughs> this is not And ADJ from 98 in the chat is my son, Austin. Oh. Hi, Austin. Hi, Austin. Hi, Austin. How are you? you. <laughs> can you oh, guys that's hear so us cool. okay? Can you hear us all right? We can hear you fine. Yes, perfect. We can see okay. you clearly. And yep. we're, we're drinking. We're drinking. Excellent. Yeah, I, I, I let Heather have coffee. Yeah. <laughs> she can only have one. Oh. <laughs> that's why we drink coffee because we're having ten. So. Yes, that's true. <laughs> oh, I have other stuff too to drink, but. <laughs> uh huh. See. I have my tea under my chair. Oh, I have water. <laughs> and Heather's only allowed to have one. I keep waiting that somebody's gonna pour a Bailey's here instead of oh, coffee, awesome. but it, yeah, it, it's <laughs> and I don't, I don't know why. Oh, boy, yeah. Call them louder. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, so good for having us on. Yes, thank you. Oh, thank and you we hit five hundred today, actually. I yes, know. Yes, we see that. <laughs> I told her when I went to your site, I was getting the link. I'm like, look at this, right on the dot. I was there when it was at five hundred. So. Oh, on the nose on the nose cool well you guys have been working like, hard. yes <laughs> yes my god congratulations that's amazing thank, thank you, you. <laughs> it's so interesting you're another one that we've seen around for a while and it's so interesting to start now live streaming with you guys because we've you know had you guys in the chat and on you yeah. guys videos it's so surreal i find for the first couple of minutes when we get a channel and like yours especially that we've known for a while 
Yeah. When the conversation first starts, it's really cool. To have <laughs> you never know what's going to yeah, come out of our mouths. You never know what's going to yeah. happen with us. That's well, I like those cool. odds. I, I, <laughs> People that have been in our live streams can tell you that. Yeah. It goes places you would never think. Never guess. <laughs> I was in. I was in Jada Diva's live stream today and I was talking to craft beer pours and they were on the other week with us. We had some beer yeah, I remember on our that. live stream and we were saying that they had the biggest preview uh, promo video we've ever done so far because that was a kind of a clickbait one because I said we're drinking with them and we never do. So I knew everybody <laughs> was tuning in for one reason to see where this was all going to lead, you know, so... <laughs> <laughs> like Trish, showed, she said, we definitely gave them what they were looking for. So. Yes, yeah, that definitely. was a good live stream. Last night <laughs> yeah. was a good live stream too, though. I'm yelling in Heidi's ear. I know Heather is so loud in my ear. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about at all. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I want Bailey's in my coffee. <laughs> we can send you some of what we have, but yeah, we'll definitely. What are you having? There in time. I don't know. Whatever I had in the fridge. Little bottles. <laughs> little bottles. <laughs> I put them in my baseball bag when I go to watch kids baseball. Yeah. Oh, oh that's baseball great. Games. I can sneak them in anywhere. Yes, she Dude, has. Yeah. I'll be right. Sorry, our daughter's not feeling well yeah, tonight. And oh, that's okay. Her. Sorry about that. We are. Uh, uh, yeah, she's been sick for a couple of days, so we're. <laughs> I know. Uh, I hope she feels better soon. Yeah, well, that's why I was a bit distracted in the beginning, and I apologize. I was trying to set up appointment with a walk-in clinic. Uh, you have to set an appointment with a walk-in clinic, and the first available appointment is tomorrow evening. So, Oh, wow. Yay or not yay, but that's yeah. the only way to get to the doctor. So. Oh, that's so, sad when they're sick. Yeah, so sorry if I, if, I, if I was a bit distracted, but I'm sure you understand as, as moms as well. Totally get it. Yes, totally get it. <laughs> totally get it. I mean, we're locked in my bedroom right now because Literally. all of my kids are home. Yeah. So we like draw, well, I drug everything up here and <laughs> we like locked the door. We locked the door. Yeah. Oh the my God. The dog isn't even yeah, allowed Yeah, we in. didn't even let Lilo in here. Yeah, because she'll not go over the camera. And it's like, no matter what happens, don't knock, don't call. <laughs> yeah, don't call. Like, just, really, like, unless there's like fingers hanging somewhere, like just don't, don't bother. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> I love that. I love that. That's, that's the right attitude. Um, well, uh, let's uh, start, ladies, with a little highlight of your channel. We usually uh, go past that as, as, you know, you have ha hang around our chats before. It's more about people behind it but for those who don't know your channel uh how would you uh tell them what it is about uh what do you do on your videos well well we bicker we i bicker. guess we bicker a little bit um we banter we laugh a lot um we talk about beauty we talk about mom things um i think lately it's been more about the beauty because that's just been yeah. where like Heather's wallet's been at. <laughs> um, sorry, but we do talk about other things. Yeah. I think like crafts, that sort of stuff. Um, yeah. and we've done some serious talks too. Um, we've had a couple like ser more, I guess, more serious videos or more get to know me type videos that got a little bit serious, and we do that in the live streams too. So mm -hmm. we're kind of like I don't know, we're, we're like eclectic. Yes, I like yeah. that word. We're eclectic eclectic yeah we are definitely eclectic and i guess it's just kind of keeps evolving as we just keep coming yeah. up with different ideas and... like we couldn't do this if we didn't weren't doing it together no. there'd be no way yeah, right we do it alone i don't know how people do it alone we no. yeah i agree i don't know like uh we us too uh we're doing and uh, two of us and i uh, and it's in a way it's easier even just to do the all the social stuff you know watch the videos and comment yeah. and that you know and then we just share with each other i don't know how people do it when they're alone it's uh, i don't know i don't know no because anytime i try and do something alone i speed talk yeah. to the camera i speed talk so at least we have that. each other to yeah you know. like she can shut me up when i need to be well today i shut you up by shutting the camera off she on shut the camera off on me. <laughs> not shut up. i wouldn't shut up i'm like halos and heathens was talking about it annalise like has to like overly explain things that's me like I that that is but me in she's a like, Here, let, I'll get it. Go ahead, Heidi. You close it out since I can't shut up. And then I'm talking, and she was over talking me the whole entire time. So I, shot, I just shut I had more off. stuff to say. And oh my god, come out. 
I'm, I'm glad Andrew is not here because uh, he would get the tip of shutting off the camera every time I talk. More. <laughs> That's exactly what I do all the time, I think. <laughs> I completely cut her off. Yeah, either that or we're like, I'm almost knocking her out with my hands or, yeah, it's like always something. Like, <laughs> I, you just never know what you're going to get. And we don't edit our videos. No. Like, we don't take anything out. Like, I might fast forward oh, okay. sometimes through things. Well, my mouth gets me in trouble sometimes. Someone slips, but... <laughs> We don't edit anything out. We leave it all in usually. So you just sometimes things like today was a little I may crazy. I mourn a little bit in a video, and I'll have to cover it up with the sound <laughs> It effects. wasn't anything major. It was no. just a little word. Yeah, we well, try to be stick family on. friendly. It was a miniature. <laughs> it was a miniature. <laughs> wasn't the big one. No. Yeah. No. 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 We're usually we're pretty family friendly, and our live streams usually are, but occasionally we can get a little off topic and go places that yeah, halos and even said boob sweat. Yeah, that's yeah. definitely boob one sweat. of the off topics. Um, yeah. yeah, that was one of the off topics. They used that in their one podcast actually, which was kind of funny. So, <laughs> yeah, you just never know. And we have such great people that we're with. Like you, I'm gonna say Yins, and Heidi's gonna get mad at me. Yins, because that's all I can say is Yins. Yins and all of our see, just look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Yinzers. Yinzers. Um, but we have like such a great group of people that we're with, and some of them came here tonight to see us, mm -hmm. which we're like so thankful for. Yeah, that's um, amazing. I see it's, that. It's that's... like, is she okay? <laughs> see, now I'm worried about your dog. Yeah, yeah no, so Andrew has it under control. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, like we, we we've got such a great group of people that we're with that I mean, and occasionally you get it makes it fun when you come on alive and you know the people you created relationships. Yeah, so it makes it more fun. And people truly are concerned about you. Like if you're missing for a day, or if you say I don't feel good or something, they they want to know like what's wrong with you, and not in a nebby way or anything, just like a a true, you can tell genuine from. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Sorry, that was my son was trying to house party me. Austin, apparently. what are you doing? Austin, what are you doing? <laughs> 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 he's in the chat, I think. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> uh, yeah. He's, trying, he's, to get in the chat. Maybe he's trying to like tell some stories. I'm not really sure. Yeah, we're not letting you in here. Um, yes. <laughs> okay, all good. Uh, Sylvie said that uh, your lives are the best. Uh, you, know, all, you guys always have so much fun. Oh, oh we love Sylvie. Sylvie. <laughs> <laughs> we love Sylvie. She is such a sweetheart. She, like I said, the people that come to our live streams are like so usually nice. We've gotten our first few trolls, which we were like, wow, finally, we got a couple. Yeah, um, and we found it quite funny actually. It was like you know, if you're gonna spend the time to do that, you know why? What's the point? Um, but I mean, overall, like I think our live streams go. Yeah, but yeah, that's what we do. We talk and make no sense. Yeah, and we eventually <laughs> do want to start like going out and about and showing some of the sites of Pittsburgh and doing some vlogging and some different things. So we do want to expand a little bit and try, although that should be fun hmm. because gosh knows what trouble we could find ourselves into. But <laughs> overall, I mean, we're, yeah, we're just us. Yeah, we are. We just yeah. are us. And you either like us or you don't like us. And that's what I love about your channel, guys, that you exactly that, you know, it might be about beauty or mom things, as you said, you know, mostly yes, yeah. about beauty, beauty, unboxing and trying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's so much fun. It's because of you guys, because the way your dynamic is between each other, you know, and the jokes, it's always jokes. And, and uh, <laughs> it's just good at it. Yeah, and it's so much fun. It's it's different, you know. It's it's not well, just you. unboxing. Unboxing, it's kind of it's there, but it's not the main thing. Yeah, <laughs> it's not the main thing, right? I, I and that's why I love it. It's just so um, mood uplifting every time. Thank you. Thank you. We try. It's like we want it to be a fun place for people to come to. Like even if we're not having a good day or something, we mm -hmm. we try. That's a few minutes that we get 
to have fun. It's like we forget what's happening out in the real world and we just get to have fun together. And that to me is like, you know, oh, so sweet. Heather. I know, wasn't it? So cute. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sister love, sister love. <laughs> we do love each other. Most of the time. Most of the time, yeah. Most of the time. Well, that's a good answer. <laughs> we always, that's right. Well, how did you guys decide to do a YouTube channel? I mean, you know, uh, you were sisters all the time, but since you decided to <laughs> do a YouTube channel not so long ago. Uh, well, I mean, I've just been talking about this thing that she's wanted to do and for so long but she never would tell me what it was and and things have happened in life and I didn't always live in Pittsburgh I moved to Florida for a year yeah we both did back and um she kept talking about this thing and (laughs) and she seemed so excited about it and I was like Heather well just like freaking tell me what it is like (laughs) I don't care and she said she wanted to do this and honestly Heather hasn't been like so excited about something in a long time so I was like you know what whatever like I'm not a person to be on camera I'm not I drug her I drugged her I I drag not really my thing but I do I have come to really enjoy it yeah so this is all Heather's little baby and brainstorm and I'm just kind of along for the ride yeah I needed something as like a diversion from what was going on in my real life or I shouldn't say my real life but the other side of my life yeah. uh, outside of YouTube. Yeah. I needed a diversion. And this was like the best one I could find. And I thought, hey, maybe I could connect with other people that maybe have some of the same things that I've got going on or, you know, my sister's got going on or maybe I could help somebody if they're going through something, you know, similar to what I've been through, you know, because there must be a reason why I went through it, you know, I feel you go through everything in life for a reason and you're supposed to like pull something and learn from it. Mm-hmm. So I thought, well, maybe if I could share that. And I honestly, we really thought like we might get 10 people and they'd be yeah, family and which friends. Which we did for a, like, <laughs> a long time. And then all of a sudden we just got like connected with the right people and it just started happening and we were like wow people actually like us we were like we have 50 subscribers yes yes like we made it we We made made it it. like for us making it was like 50 subscribers honestly because well i I think everybody who starts you know every tens of subscribers it's just like oh my god 50 60 oh no i can't believe that you know yeah it was it's so weird that people actually watch us yeah exactly they they asked us questions and they were responding and oh, they want to be our friends too. Wow. You know, this is like cool. I mean, yeah. and some of them, it's so funny because you get such a connection with some of them and like they can tell how you're feeling just by how you're typing or something. It's really awesome. weird. Um, so, I mean, it, it, to us, this is just amazing. It's like an outlet, really. Yeah, it's, it's therapy. Fun. It's therapy. <laughs> Yeah. I agree though because it, it becomes a lot more and I think it, it have became a lot more personal level than I would have ever expected to mm-hmm. like you guys were saying as well before you know like people actually care about how yeah. are you doing you know and uh, what happened with you and we start to care about people that come to you know that if they're not there what's wrong you know yeah. uh, and, and it's it's interesting it, it is beyond the channel it is in a human level you know uh, that we care about and that's why we like these live streams that we are doing uh, on our channel because you know it is human behind that is cares about each other it's not just sub and sub right, right. it's true uh, it's like we try to do one live stream a week right now mm-hmm. and like we have no upload schedule we haven't had an upload schedule I sent, since since ever yeah but people still seem to find us and follow and, and want to see the next one and it's like and we're getting a, I'm getting we're getting a little bit better like uploading regularly now yeah but we're kind of getting into the groove of things I guess you could say and people do want to see what we're doing some it's, weeks more than others yeah some weeks are a little harder than others but it's like anything in life you know family outside life comes first and then this but like I said, we've met amazing people on here. And like, I never thought we'd be talking to people from like England and no, where's your friend? Is he here? I don't know if Tony's in the chat or not. 
Tony's Silverado, I Silver Retro Collector. So oh, he was in yesterday. Air. Oh, um, silver red. Yeah, that's how, like Heather. He loves see. Heather. Oh, <laughs> yeah. okay. Well, I will be on the lookout. <laughs> I told him if he ever wants me to come to the UK, you know, I might be up for it. You never know. <laughs> oh, I just wanted to visit. I'll take nice. someone with me. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. Well, you might come in later on, so we'll ask him a question. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Uh, let's see for a minute who are in the chat. Uh, uh, hello and welcome to everybody who came in while we are talking. I see Colorado Martini is in uh, and M and the gang from the hiking gang. Uh, welcome, welcome. Um, uh, if I miss somebody, please, I apologize. Bobby is in my cry for help. Hello, welcome back. Hi, Hi everybody. everybody. <laughs> Thank and you. Hmm, who else is here? Ervin, the paid tourist. Hey, are you done for the night? Uh, uh, yeah, I think I caught everybody. If I didn't, I apologize. Um, Andrew is still with Audrey, so... Uh, oh, we love you too, Austin. Aw, thank you, Austin. Mommy loves you. Oh, I said mommy. He's going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't all mothers have to embarrass their children at least once or twice? I'm surprised he blew off the cover and right away, like, it's, hi, mom. Like, you could yeah. have pretended that you're somebody else and say anything you wanted. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nobody would ever know. Say hi, and hi, hi. Yeah, <laughs> hi, and hi, hi, and leave mom out. I'd be like, well, wait a minute. Very close to Aunt Heidi. Actually, he said Aunt. He called me Aunt Heidi. Oh, he didn't, he didn't call that. me Aunt Hi Hi like he normally does. He had to be the big boy. <laughs> that did not <laughs> Wow. Uh, Philip said that you got, girls are doing such a great job. And you oh, are. Thank, thank you, Philip. <laughs> we um, are Jessica. What is Jessica? She us? said we're going on a drunken camping trip this summer. Yes. Jessica lives also in Pennsylvania. I won't say where, but she's also in Pennsylvania, too. And we actually plan on going out to visit her. And we, talk, we talked about we're going to go on a drunk drunk i can't talk that's why you're only allowed to have one wine <laughs> <laughs> and you know it'll turn into two no um i didn't get a full glass i gave you the whole bottle oh, <laughs> 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 oh you guys are funny oh. she wants to go on a camping trip with us but we love jessica She's we love super jessica. sweet and a really funny person. she has a great channel Great channel. Well, definitely we'll be uh, checking out like fake eyelashes that I was requesting are already there apparently. So I will. <laughs> <laughs> she did, yeah, she did. Yeah, so I will definitely will have to check that out. Uh, camping? Do you love camping? I like to camp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is oh, it yeah. something that you guys do with your kids? Um, I, well, not Austin, Brandon. Yes, Austin, no. Um, <laughs> I've camped with my kids, sure. Yeah, you've camped with your kids. I camped with my oldest, but not my youngest. But there was reasons for that. So, which are really... I'm sure I would love to see Austin camp. I would too. actually. I'd I like to see he loves Heather nature. 2018 camp. Heather 2018 could camp. Like Heather 1996 definitely camp. <laughs> 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 Okay. <laughs> well, now we're going to be all excited for Heather 2018 <laughs> and we're looking Let's forward to vlogging that. from that one. So. <laughs> we said it would be some pretty good vlogs and, and um, videos that we could do with Jessica because she's a how. Yeah, she is really fun. Yeah. I was listening to you guys. I heard a good time going on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to fun. crash it or anything Always like that. Always a good time over here, Andrew. Always. <laughs> I love it. So glad you guys are having an awesome time on here. It's great. To well, have you're you right on time with your question that you usually ask because uh, we just were talking just a little bit about the channel and how they started uh, and a little bit of camping. Now we know what the <laughs> next is to follow. Uh, but uh, your question. Uh, okay. The evening. I always time. ask all our guests, and you guys have probably heard it before. Yeah. 
I want to go back and as back as you guys feel comfortable in starting to talk about kind of like uh, if you want to talk about when you were in elementary school or starting in high school or college, wherever you guys feel like starting off and kind of building up to the day, just a bit about yourselves. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's a heavy. Are you sure? That's no, a... I really want to hear it. <laughs> I've never been more sure in my life. I could write a book. I mean, we need this, like the really, really reeled in version from Heather. <laughs> okay. Um, the abbreviated version? Like the abbreviated, abbreviated version. Okay. Well, you Whatever you guys feel like doing. <laughs> uh, well, um, well, we grew up in a kind of different situation. Yeah. Um, our dad really wasn't around. Mm -hmm. So our mom kind of um, went to work and did the best that she could. Yep. So that in turn, we moved around a lot. We lived it. We grew up in the country first. Well, okay. Heather grew up in the country. Okay. You were there too for I a was, few years. For a few. Okay. <laughs> she was there for a few years. We're going to have an argument on this in a second. How long? That's okay. also good, too. <laughs> I'm trying to give the abbreviated version. Go ahead. Heather. Keep going. Um, so, yeah, so we moved around quite a bit. And Heather um, I, Heather and I are, are quite a few years apart. So we won't say how was, far. You know, a grown-up, and I was still in elementary there school. There she goes. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love the math. Eh? Not quite. Um, like she was 18, I was nine. Yeah, we're nine years apart. Okay. So Heather went off and kind of did her own thing and I was still stuck with the the, 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 the situation. Moving around life. Yeah, the moving around life. Um, so Heather got married. I got married to, well, oh. we'll, we'll just call him an idiot um, <laughs> to be nice. Um, she had two kids. I... I have two kids and okay, I'm not going to try to bring it down, but I'm honest about it. I have two kids. Um, my oldest son has passed away, oh. um, at seven and a half, um, Sorry. 2004. Um, and my kids are two years apart. So Austin, who was in the chat, I don't know if he's still there. Oh. Um, he, he's, they're only two years apart. So he was five when his brother passed away. Um, oh. but I'm so, so that sent yeah. the world into a whole Thank different you. place. So I was just about yeah. to get married at that point. Yeah. And um, Heather's life kind of took a weird turn. And that's why I say, like, I should have been the Monday night movie. When she <laughs> approached me about doing the YouTube channel, she had not been happy or excited about anything. No. So I felt like, you know, I have to do this for her. Like, she... Yeah finding she's finally finding something that she wants to do and that can be excited about yeah so oh. so yeah i mean and then i guess like we kind of just had yeah, kids. Heidi's always had been there for me like and... heidi's been at times the the big sister and i was the little sister at times because that's just what it had to be um right. because you don't get over. I don't. I'm gonna no. bring the chat down. I don't yeah, well, do that. Don't, don't ever get over that. Guys, don't fine. ever get over that. And so yes. I've always. That's always been there for me. And don't get me wrong. My youngest son is why I'm here today. Right. Um, I tell people that all the time. Right. Like it's not something I would have done on my own, but I just don't think I would have been able to make it with if it just would have been me. But mm -hmm. I had my younger son, so you know failure wasn't an option. I had to take care of him. And he's what kept me going and still keeps me going to this day. I mean, oh my gosh, he's my baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't know if he's still in the chat, but I'm yeah. embarrassing him big time. <laughs> um, and then I went through some crappy times with the ex-husband that, like I said, could be a movie. Which was fun. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, which was not fun, actually. But, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so I mean, I think all that. of those things kind of really brought us back to today i mean our mom had breast cancer yeah, she's so a breast that, cancer like, survivor. Kind of rallied around that yeah. and i have fibro like you do mm -hmm. um really bad so i battle that with a couple other things so i can relate to you and i wanted to say when you did that that front that awareness that you did you did awesome that night and when you were telling mm -hmm. your story it was like listening to me tell mm -hmm. my story it, i connected so much with you and I really wasn't saying it in the chat because I don't talk a whole lot about it like you, but um, yeah, I battle that every day. So, and Heidi has been such a good, a good sister. You know, I joke and kid a lot, <laughs> she but keeps me I do love my sister she and does. I do, you know, I've, I love her too. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, we we've said drug it. each other through the ringer. That's for sure. Yes, we have. We've had our moments, but we've always had each other's backs. It's like, you know, don't don't mess with my sister. It's like you do that, and <laughs> somebody's coming after you, <laughs> one or the other. I'm not sure. I don't know what I can do. Heather might sick the dog. Like, I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, somehow, <laughs> oh, something. <laughs> but yeah and so then we just kind of so yeah I moved to Florida for a year and came back and which I knew then she was we kind of started the, <laughs> she approached me with this and that's kind of where we're at now yeah we're just trying to we've been on here for nine months now I just looked back is it nine months it's been nine yeah. months yeah well that's it's like cool. we had a baby because I rewatched <laughs> the um oh my god <laughs> you're now cut off no more Oh my god. Sometimes things just come out. <laughs> but that's amazing, girls. Now you are really such yeah. a rock for each other. Uh, we are. Know, sounds like from like from the start, so to say. See, our kids are spaced apart. We have a 20-year-old, an eleven year old, and a wow. seven year old. Wow. So that's why I was like when I was hearing you guys saying like you're nine years apart and you know how things go, you know, and then you came back together and a rock for each other by time and stuff. That's what I'm hoping the kids will be for them for them as well. So it's nice to hear that that, that does happen. It, it, it does, definitely does. I made her an aunt at 16. Yeah. And she rocked as an aunt at oh, 16. Oh, yeah. I let me tell you. I did. I brought presents all the time. Yeah. And then 18, I, I taught made them how to do like again. all the really bad things. Gave them chocolate for the first time. You know, yeah. all the great things aunts do. <laughs> and that type of thing. So, I mean, like, she kind of grew up a little bit too fast because, not too fast, but. Well, <laughs> it depends on what you ask. <laughs> There's part of that story I was asking about where you feel comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I could see Neil in the chat taking oh down God. notes again. Like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it was a beat, Neil. <laughs> but no, I mean, we just, I don't know. We're just, yeah. Yeah, but they will. They will come back around. They'll to come each back other. around. Because, yeah. like, Heather yeah. and I have, like, I have, like, She's been really, I've been really pissed off at her before. <laughs> Me too. And she knows, you know, but oh, yeah. you, you always figure it out <laughs> somehow. We do. It's like, we could have like cat fight. We've had a few of those. And then like the next day we're like, Hey, how's it going? You know? <laughs> it's like, you just, you work it out. Cause in the end. She you, hit all my secrets. Like when I got my tongue pierced, she didn't tell my mom. Remember? She stole my diary. Still I has still it. have her diary. <laughs> Oh my god. I wondered, I'm not kidding, for 20 years where this diary <laughs> went to. And finally I was talking to her and I'm like, Heidi, you know, I can't find my diary. It has a lock of your baby hair in it. And she's like, Oh, I have it. Yeah. I'm like, you it's in my closet, actually, right she behind. She still us. has it. Never did give it back. Cute little purple diary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, so Wow. Yeah, we know how to have fun. We know how to fight. We know how to, but we resolve it. And that's the important thing. At the end of the day, the fight means nothing. It's, you know, life's too short. Yeah, because sisters, I'm sorry, and I don't mean to sound sexy, but man, when you guys fight, you guys get vicious. It gets unbelievable from a guy's point of view. It's like, oh, they're going to kill each other. Come yeah, oh, yeah. Like laughing yeah. and crying 10 minutes later. It's like, what just happened? Yeah. <laughs> well, especially because I have like a really honest side of me she does and i kind of tell you how it is and, she does um, i mean it i'm i come from but a she good does place, it in a loving place from a loving place heather sometimes i can tell like i'll say something i'm like oh and i'll be just like oh my god oh, she did not just say that did she and it's like oh reel that in take that back <laughs> yeah. oh my god <laughs> Heidi, what about uh, you? I know that you have uh, three kids. Is that I do. Right? I have three kids. They're 12, 8, and 6. <laughs> uh, they keep me very, very, very busy yeah. as of late. Uh, they're all involved in some sort of sport or activity. Horses. Horses, baseball. I mean, that's basically my my life. I have no real social she life. She has no other life. I'm, Heather's like, texting me and I'm like I'm driving you know and then she continues to freaking text me like I'm not driving but like I'm always somewhere doing something with them yeah and I have a dog and like yeah it's what we do it's my, what we do yeah my house is just crazy I'm actually surprised it's so quiet I am but we told them to be quiet 
And we're like, <laughs> you have to be quiet tonight because it's live and it's in front of a lot of people. Well, but usually they know that we go live and, and they they'll don't come care. In. Like they yeah. pop their heads in and And whatever. then they'll tell our mom what we said on the live. Like my nephew busted me completely. Like I didn't realize he was listening in the corner. Oh yeah, he told my mom how drunk she I got was. it at Atlantic City. <laughs> oh my god. He's telling my mom this story and I'm like, oh dear goodness, my <laughs> mother did not know this story. That was good. And then I'm like, oh dear goodness, my nephew knows this story. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, okay, watch what to say when the kids come home. Yeah, but, that was really funny. Yeah, it was actually. Mom was quite shocked, but she got over it. I don't think anything shocks mom anymore. Not anymore, no. I think we've done just about everything that could shock her, and now she can't be shocked anymore. Pretty much, yeah. What is the craziest thing you can share that you have done both together? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I, yeah, Atlantic City is probably takes the cake. I mean, that was like <laughs> other... <sighs> Like, anybody that's been on our lives kind of knows this story. But yeah. so when all that stuff was kind of going on and Heather was leaving her husband, yeah. we thought, well, let's take them, let's take her to Atlantic City and like, <laughs> go have some fun. Ugh. Give her a couple chocolate martinis and Heather's <laughs> trying to run away with people on the boardwalk. Yeah. Like, I was trying to play Frisbee with drug dealers. She was flirting with all the hot dog guys. <laughs> I didn't know. And they like, literally were grabbing me, and I'm like, no, I want to go play with them. I mean, I was, tried to run away. I tried to run away. Um, I liked a statue. Yes, That's all we're going to say about that. We liked a statue. Um, I had some fun with that. That would have been a great video. Um, <laughs> That's why I say only one line. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, we took a couple shots before Black Friday shopping, and Heather was like, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> But I found my deals. <laughs> She's throwing things at me at Target, and I was catching them. Like, normally I wouldn't, but drunk oh, I did. Yeah, no. We were having a blast. So, yeah, that's probably the most... That definitely... Yeah, because, like, yeah. we haven't really spent too much time alone. Yeah. It's because been hard. I, Because of the way our... How the age difference is. Like, Heather was already doing all of that stuff and then married by the time... Well, you were doing your Make teenage it, stuff. Oh, yeah, I did. And I was so little. And then <laughs> by the time, like, I came of age, you were already married and had kids yeah, and stuff that's true. so yeah we really haven't had too much um yeah i'm sure the next will be camping with jessica jessica yes so Give this it. is the time for you guys to to get to all uh fun stuff together <laughs> done yes. some of it can be taped and some of it may not be able to be taped i'm sure i'll tape it but <laughs> <laughs> you guys can get me on like instagram stories like when i'm like like when the dog's like half attacking me or I'm drunk and I'm trying to say a word and something else is coming out. And I look on Instagram and there it is mm -hmm. from the world yeah. to see. And it's like, thanks. Hi. Sorry. You just never know when she has the, the, the phone. It's like, I always know when to grab it. <sighs> it drives me crazy. I'll get her one of these days. I've been saying that for years now. It, it won't happen though. Probably. I'm, I'm the one that does the stupid stuff. Oh my God. You guys are so funny. <laughs> You'd almost think it was scripted. I yeah, swear I to God, something like, like it's so like intuitive. Oh, breathe, breathe. breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Just breathe. It'll be okay. <laughs> You'll make it. I You're promise. gonna be so happy you had us on. <laughs> I am. It's been a long time coming, ladies. <laughs> I think this is it's long overdue. So I'm glad. You joined. <laughs> Thank you. No, you guys, and you guys have really been working yourself, like working your channel and that. I know you guys have been putting in the effort and that. You can see it right away. I see lots in the live streams. I see you putting up lots of videos. I see the energy you put into it and that. Has it been a good process? Would you say in the end, like you think you've like found something new about yourselves that you didn't know before by doing YouTube? Oh yeah. yeah. Well, I didn't know Heather could work any electronic at all. So yeah, she didn't know. I yeah, could do so anything. like she's so, actually uh, really good at all of that editing and like. You know, adding learning. stuff in the words and all of that. Yeah, I can't. I still can't do like the splice cut splice. Uh, yeah, I still can't do that. That's why I just don't. <laughs> um, because I haven't figured it out yet. Um, but like I was excited when I was able to put words on the video. <laughs> called her. I'm like, how do you have put words which, on it? Which <laughs> my 12 year old basically taught her how taught to like, me how to do yeah. it all. That oh. happens a lot today. Yes, because yeah. they grow up with it. It's second nature to them. Yeah, but, I mean, we've learned. I think we've learned a lot about ourselves. I think ourselves. the whole process has just been really fun and yeah. easy. Because, like, 
I remember the very first day we filmed, I actually just went back and rewatched um, some Our of those videos. videos. And I remember like <clears throat> hitting stop on the camera and looking at Heather and being like, wow, that was so much easier <laughs> than we thought. We <laughs> thought we were going to get on there and stumble around yeah, we didn't. and it feel really uncomfortable, but it really was as fun. It was fun. And we've left it up. As cringy as it is, it's we've cringy. left it up because so we, we want to show, see our progression and for other people to see it. So like if they want to start a channel, they're going to know that if theirs is cringy, it'll eventually get better too. You just learn as you go and you learn from other people on here. Yeah. I learned a lot last night. Oh, really, Heather? Here I did. Oh. I'm so happy to hear oh. that. <laughs> Where were you? I was telling. <laughs> they thought I was in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> but it was really you. <laughs> which, surprise. Is surprise. which we've done that. Sometimes we'll both be in the chat and people don't realize it. No, I love when everybody thinks it's Heather. Oh my gosh, we love playing with people. And then it's like, if they do realize it's both of us, then they're like, okay, which one are we talking to? And like, we won't tell them at first. And it's like, yeah, it, we have fun. Well, that was kind of a problem we had at first until we did our first live stream because we were kind of an anomaly because... <laughs> I know it's 2007. We always joke at our calendar in the house is 1957 because if you go by her answers and my answers, there's definitely a big bitter divide. <laughs> it's like night and day. So, I, I so people were like, "What the hell is this Pusha Studios? Is it male or female? Is it young or old? Is there a hundred or so one?" Like nobody knew what we were because <laughs> we weren't in front of the camera either. So we were doing all these videos, but nobody knew anything. So we were kind of like this. Hidden. I don't want to say prodigy, but everybody was kind of that was kind of like the hype around it was what is it? You know, <laughs> so it? Kind of good at hiding it? that. Who is it? Who is it? <laughs> so we went on when we answer comments or like when we respond back to people. Usually I don't put Heather or Heidi, I'll just put I, we. I'm very like, you know, um, non descriptive as to which one of it it is. And it and one day I was looking and I was like, wait a minute, did I watch that video? Because there was a response, and I went yeah. on, I'm like. Did I write I that? And it was her. Go and I'm like, wow. I'm like, Heidi does go I on. do. I do. I try. I really do try and get around to everybody's yeah, stuff. She does. I don't have as much free time. She's a lurker. I do lurk sometimes. <laughs> I'm, I have a master's degree in lurkology. She's a lurkology. <laughs> if you... <laughs> it just... <laughs> oh. Like, I'll know something what? about somebody... <laughs> Oh, yeah, ask me. I probably already know. Like, She's the detective. Your brother or sister. Like, <laughs> like, she can find the dirt on anything and anyone. Oh I told her she's in the wrong business. She needs to be a detective. <laughs> but yeah, I do I do come in and, and check she stuff does. out. But sometimes she does. I feel bad if I know I can't stay to comment. And then like then you feel weird when you're like, okay, well I have to go. I gotta go now. And then you kind of like wait. And then it's weird. So I just don't comment. Sometimes. Yeah, it's that awkward moment. I've done it where I've gone into a live stream and I don't really have time, but I want to stop in and say hi. And then I feel bad when I'm like, okay, I gotta go now. And then I wait. And then it's like, did they see that? Did they know I'm really going? Yeah, do they know I'm leaving? I don't like... want to seem ignorant. Like I just left and didn't say bye. It's such a weird thought process. That <laughs> Like, like when we were just getting on here and Heather was going through the chat before the video started and she's like, oh, hi, Chrissy. And she's like speaking out loud to all of these people. And I'm like, they cannot hear you. They Heather. cannot hear you. Like we'll talk, like sometimes we'll be talking and I'm like, okay, we're not on YouTube right now. Why are we talking like that? We're not even filming yet. And we're talking like we're talking to the dang camera or we'll be like getting ready to take the picture. And it's like, oh. we're talking like we're on there. And it's like, wait a minute, we're not on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're it's weird. Thing. We get so often that we were talking the other day, like we even talk to people like we're on YouTube now. And I'm like, <laughs> I talked to my mother and I'm like, well, it's been fun chatting with you. Cheers. Keep creating. I'm saying all these stupid things all the time. Like, God, <laughs> I can't get out of that mode. I do. And I can picture at the end of the phone because I did say one time cheers and keep creating. I just picture like, <laughs> Carl, he's on drugs again, you know. <laughs> oh, my God. oh my god, I'm gonna snort. Okay. Don't snort. You're gonna try not all to red. snort. I know. Look, I'm all red. Here we got you flustered. <laughs> Turning pink. 
<laughs> got the vapors. Oh my god. <laughs> warm in here yeah that's our excuse it's warm in here <laughs> we're just exhausted that's our excuse we're, we're on zombie now at this point so i can imagine <clears throat> the kids are no fun yeah they are no fun you know <laughs> it's coming your way eventually you're gonna get sick too usually oh it's it, coming it's coming don't worry yeah. Yeah, I feel like you do everything you can do not to get sick, like Lysol, isolate them in a room, you know, go in real quick, come Robert out. Yeah, yeah. I run with it. I don't even try to it's fight like it I anymore. Put, like, a tissue over my oh, face. she's bad. Oh, really? Band. No, oh. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. You say you're kidding, but I could, I could see that with you. I would, if you had a toy, it was true. I could see that. I like. I am voice. like really weird about germs, but all my like my kid comes to me like in the middle of the night, like holding his throw up. Like, yeah. I, my like, youngest one, like, yeah. go to the bathroom, dude. Like, why are you bringing it to me? <laughs> like, I don't need to see this. Burden of proof. <laughs> oh, those kids, they really are a lot. <laughs> they keep you busy. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, it's well worth it. Heidi, you are uh, a lot of yep. activities of your kids too. Uh, I I heard from your videos. Uh, you are are in all in the sports, baseball. Was it baseball? Yeah. Doing and cheerleading. We have um, my oldest plays baseball for a travel team and his local rec team. Oh, then wow. the littlest he plays baseball for his rec team, and he just made. Uh, he's six. He just made an eight-year-old travel team. And then my daughter rides horses and does cheerleading. Those kind of oppose each other as far as seasons go. But yeah, when my when spring hits, like at my calendar, like the last month of school, she pencils me in. I literally had no time. Like I'm like Heather. I am so sorry. But mm -hmm. I could not breathe. And I'd be like, it's okay. We'll figure it out. We did. Like we we put in an hour or two. Like literally. Like okay. Hurry up, get one video, next video, just keep them coming, keep them coming. Yeah, that's why there's the like other. a series of videos With in these the past couple shirts. weeks, like same clothes, just like, oh, because we had to, because <laughs> I literally have to get them off the bus, shove food in their throats, and be <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> Wow, that sounds really, really a lot through the day. That's that's. But it's so much fun. Like I, there's no place I'd rather be yeah. than watching them play baseball or doing what they love. Because we didn't have that opportunity when mm -hmm. we were little, and maybe had we had, <laughs> we might have turned, turned out a little different. I don't know. <laughs> I think it turned out quite well. <laughs> But it's really fun, and and I get to meet a lot of people with similar, you know, lifestyles, and um, that's when I drank at the baseball field. You know why? She drank <laughs> at Chuck E. Cheese. I did. What's wrong with drinking at Chuck E. Cheese? I didn't know you could drink at Chuck E. Cheese. I drank one of these. Maybe that's two. interesting. Maybe two. Maybe, maybe two. two. It was maybe. two. Maybe. I, th I would be safe to say you're not the only mom that's ever drank. I'm surprised more aren't. It should be actually mandatory. Well, with your IV, you can only get two drinks at Chuck E. Cheese. They drink now. Yes, I didn't bring it. It was provided for me. That is nuts. <laughs> I never heard that. No, we know. Not like to Chucky with, you know, Chucky didn't do that when we went there. Yeah, I, I don't go there. Like literally, Sophie and Jean were like, "What's Chuck E. Cheese?" I told her to take her germ stuff and just like sanitize her whole self when she went. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I'm like, because that is disgusting. I have, well, that like, place is the incubator wife. for everything. <laughs> we were fine. We man we managed. They lived. We lived to tell the story of me drinking in Chuck E. Cheese, apparently. Yeah. See, you can share your heretic story here tonight with all of us about surviving Chuck E. Cheese. That's our sound bite. <laughs> It was the Over second the hour in, my drink was done, and I wondered, will this be the end of me at Chuck E. Cheese? <laughs> I the bottle and looked at the drops and thought, I can't do this anymore, and I took the kid, <laughs> bathed in Lysol, and went home. <laughs> yes, hand sanitizer. <laughs> That's right. Uh, T-Stroke, hello. Uh, just a quick hi. Uh, uh, JJ, um, Michael Freyer, uh, Flabbin Epic. Hi, there... Michael Freyer. Actually, we hit 500 on Michael's live stream. Ooh, Hi, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, thank you, Michael. <laughs> and uh, Austin said so. That's why you're both loony, too. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. <laughs> but, uh, if they're 
Chuck E. Cheese is Canada. Where you came from, Remember where you came from, child. You came from a Looney Tune. So what does that make you? <laughs> a Looney Tune too. Sorry. I think Sorry, that was from the <laughs> Leave it to my son. I think. Yeah, uh, Flum and Epic, they do have them in Saskatchewan for sure, because we have been in one when we lived there. Uh, and Andrew said there might be some in other provinces too. So They're not in Quebec, I know yeah. that, but I think some of the other provinces, I think Ontario and them have some. Ontario might have it, actually, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I didn't know that you could drink there either. That's what it was there. Thank you. <laughs> I haven't been there in a really long time, and it was actually very clean, and, and it wasn't bad. Ew, because they used to be disgusting and gross. It Sorry, really, Chuck E. Cheese. It really Don't wasn't bad. Them, there, there was not a lot of people there. It was fine. I didn't feel like hovering mom, like I needed to. Oh, I used to hover over Austin. It was like, where are you going? Wait, <clears throat> let me come over there. Don't touch that. Let me wipe that down first. The, yeah, because I was very. Well, with my older son, I was in the hospitals a lot. So right. So you see yeah. a lot and you learn a lot. Yeah. And you develop a lifestyle, like where you have to keep your house pretty much sanitary. Yeah. And I didn't mean to laugh about that, but um, no, no, that's, so that's... he, you know, grew up knowing, okay, you got to clean this <clears> off, <throat> you got to clean that off. And people would look at my kid and be like, why is he like doing that? And I'm like, uh, yeah. <laughs> me. <laughs> it's the way he grew up. It Watch and like, learn, you know? Yeah, you live and you learn. And, but, you know. Xenia's mom was a nurse, and we used to go to her house because Xenia's originally from Latvia, uh, <laughs> which is above Poland, basically. It's a okay. second above and her mom was a nurse and she redid her house in 2011 uh, 12. yeah and we well, went over and everybody was out finally and yeah she could do it the way she wanted yeah. all. <laughs> nurse's home it was so white white oh, white, yeah. Houses, yeah. white walls it was a beautiful home i mean very stylish but it was you could tell that you could like and yeah. across the wall and like wasn't gonna be anything else. Oh, yeah. it's all the stuff you learn and it stays yeah. with you and it's like and I, it's necessary of course but it's like Sometimes I think we went overboard a little bit, maybe. It was like, you know, we had masks. You know, if you're sick, don't come in my house. You're not welcome. Right. Unless you wear a mask and gloves and stay away from my kids. You'll be yep. good. Um, so basically, don't come over. Um, I was gonna... but, you know, and then that just continued on. And then it was like when Heidi had her kids, it was like, oh, Heidi, you got to make sure this is clean and that's clean. And oh, my gosh. Yeah. So I think I, like, freaked Heidi out a little bit there in the beginning. But she's over it now. Yeah, so I'm definitely over it. I love you guys. I love you guys <laughs> talk for each other. I think that's so amazing at the end of the other one. Like, mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> Such a chemistry between the two of you. You really, and it does show out in your videos. It does really come out in that. It's nice to see that it's, I mean, I've even caught a bit of your live streams and that and seen the same thing. You guys really do have a good chemistry together. It makes for great watching. And it's great to see sisters have that together as well. Thank you. Thank you. Like I said, we're not always perfect together, but, you know, like everybody, but. Occasionally you got to hash out your differences, and we do. But we don't. We haven't really had many lately, have we? We have just a couple underlying issues. Oh well, you know how I feel about some things. Yeah, but <laughs> we won't go into those. But <laughs> I real random. <laughs> there's that dose of reality coming. <laughs> yeah, Heather's like, "Ooh, I should stop talking." Yeah, I should stop talking now. I just about to like let one loose. <laughs> But no, I mean, overall, we're pretty, like I said, we're just, yeah. I mean, we've talked to people like, you know, privately or, you know, DM'd and stuff. And we're the same people then too. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. like now. A little crazy. We've had some people message us, you know, and leave private messages. And of course, I won't say their names, but not tons. We're not uh, saviors or anything. But it's been unbelievable to have a couple of people message you and say, you know, I've been going through a hard time in my life and your live streams are making a difference yeah. and all these things. And it's amazing how this YouTube thing grows into something completely different when you ever thought it was going to be. Yeah. The it's connection amazing. with people and. You learn things too. Like you realize, like if you look at our channel list of our, of the people we subscribe to, it's so diverse mm -hmm. because it's like, Oh wow, that looks interesting. Oh wow, let's check that out. Like we have gaming channels yeah. that we go to sometimes, or nature. Well, because we're going camping, so the nature channels will come in handy. This is true. Um, <laughs> but we have more? like all kinds of different channels. Like we watch Patsy. Like who? I never thought I'd watch puppets. <laughs> well, Patsy's in talking we about Patsy. Patsy's in the chat. Patsy, look, asking you, Andrew, just a minute. Night. She Jeez. knows you know. 
You love her. <laughs> Look at his face. He turns into a completely different <laughs> person. It's like some kind of magic spell going on. It's like. All right, shut up. <laughs> Okay. This. <laughs> she specifically put that on one of our videos that I was definitely to ask you that question. Mm -hmm. And when and I, I laughed hysterically now. when I saw it, I was like, you've got to be kidding me. And I'm like, yeah, sure. It's for Patsy. I can do that. <laughs> and I never like puppets growing over. It's just so it's, it, I don't know. It's so wholesome. I feel awful. Like, I, just, I don't know what the whole, uh, anyways, we're off. <laughs> I'm going back to oh, Andy, Patsy. <laughs> oh, Patsy, please. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. Uh, uh, uh. It's that shot. We've done live streams together before, and there's something about when Patsy said, and then just freezes. And there's something so funny about it. I can never keep myself together. <laughs> I you don't couldn't. Oh. That night she was on, I was like, first of all, I couldn't believe I was sitting there watching it. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, wow, this is not like Mr. Rogers. And so I'm like watching it and I'm like, wow, she's pretty cool. And then it was like, oh my goodness, did she just really, look how she just stops dead yep. and, and doesn't move. And it's like, and there's like no response from her. And it's like, how does she do that? It's so surreal. It's so surreal. It is. Oh, God, Patsy wrote it would never work. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what is going on? Maybe yes. Bailey's in your car, yeah. too. <laughs> we can send you some oh. wine, but it won't oh. get up. Oh, there went something. <laughs> Phone. <laughs> jeez. <laughs> Thought there was a missile for a Patsy, second. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, Patsy! I don't know what you're doing. You got to tell uh, me your secret because this is amazing. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go check on the daughter. Of the <laughs> thanks, thanks. You couldn't leave me go right now or no, anything. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, yeah, thanks. Well. Thank you. Yeah, well, the, that's why I'm not so good with the makeup questions. I guess I could get some tips, I suppose. <laughs> I'm not good at it either, so don't feel bad. She's learning. Well, that's Actually, good. it's funny because Jessica, who's in the, I think she's still in the chat, she's made videos specifically for Heidi to teach really? her how to do things. Yeah, because wow. I apparently suck at it. <laughs> that's, that's that's the part I've been there's talking about all night. Too. I, uh, that's, but what what do you guys want to do with your channel? Like, do you have a plan for the like the next year or next two years, six months? Do you have something where you want to take it that you're not quite at now? Like, besides subscribers and stuff, like content wise, is it kind of where you want it right now, or is there other things you've been wanting to kind of branch out into as well? No, I think as we have been learning more, um, mm -hmm. we definitely want to branch out more. Yeah. We talked about that from the beginning. Like, yeah. we had a notebook where we were brainstorming She's all very the different organized. ideas and things that possibly we could do. Yeah. It just kind of somehow, like, went to the beauty thing. And, and maybe that was because it was winter and we really weren't able to get out so much. But we definitely want to um, go, do other, things go do other things outside show the city yeah we want to show the city you know and, maybe um, try some photography from like you know mount washington and things like that and there's so many beautiful places around mm -hmm. here to take for photography not that it would be as good as yin's are there's that yin, oh. sorry um <laughs> because i've i've seen yours and it's like blows us out of the water but she's, i mean she's but Heather's really good at getting like stuff for free and like couponing yeah. and tips so we have like all these other you things you need something for free i can get it yeah heather can get it so we have well, all these great. other things that we <laughs> like can do mm -hmm. um we just kind of have to explore that a little bit and i think that's the beauty of yeah. not having a time frame on on youtube like we can yeah we're just yeah. kind of going with it we're just kind of riding the wave i guess you could say and just seeing where it takes us and going down different little avenues and 
but that's kind of cool with it, you know, because this way here you, you get you're learning with a lot of other people learning and you're watching what they're doing. And you're getting ideas from each other. And it's a big co-op in the end. That's what's so cool about this whole system. I love what's going on here. Yeah, it's definitely it, not a competition. It's no, definitely, no. You don't look at it. It's definitely fun to learn and see like people do things that I would have never thought of, Yeah, you mm -hmm. know, on here. And just even like you guys doing what you do and, yeah. and coming on and watching and seeing everybody communicate. It's really neat yeah we learned so many new things and like different things that maybe we can try or you know just uh, things that we may <clears throat> may have never thought we'd like it's like yeah. wow i think i might actually like to try to do that i mean or things that we knew we might like to do but maybe didn't have the guts to try to do but now now do i mean since we put ourselves out here now as it is yeah. um because you really do put yourself out on youtube oh big I mean, time keep some things private because you have to definitely um, but definitely. you do let a lot of yourself you have to give some of yourself i think out in our lives in. it's pretty open book yeah pretty yeah. you know yeah. i mean go back but, through our lives and you can and that, there's no wine involved no yeah. wine involved <laughs> yeah, it's just, but there is something little things i mean you gotta watch too because it can slip on you sometimes you know as always especially when we're doing live that's oh, something yeah. to kind of watch because sometimes i'm about to say something like Oh yeah, that I can't talk about. It's not that yeah. it's like a, a joke between her and I. It could oh, be yes. about her. that happens to me like every five minutes. Yes, yeah. yes. I'm like oh, there I can't few, say that. There nope. have been a few times. I think it was only like once or twice where something slipped out that really probably shouldn't have. And it was like, oh boy, that's not gonna be no, good. Well, Heather gave me the side eye, and I was like, uh oh. She was like, I'm in trouble now. <laughs> so the much stink trouble. guy, as Bottle Caps calls it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Life, but yeah, Heidi, I gave her the stink eye, you could say, and it was like, you know, shut up, don't say <laughs> anymore. You know, talking through my lips, and Heidi's like, oh, I should have said that. Yeah, I'm oops. like, yeah, no, oops, that's a big oops. <laughs> <laughs> about so fast sometimes like you know and that was even the night we had craft beer pours over a ton of water that was one concern of mine is even after like one or two beer like you just get a little less sharp with your senses it doesn't take much and it's so much yeah. easier to play. and it's not even like dirty sorry it just could be like about no, like apartment you numbers just don't willingly streets. throw your wife under the bus you know, but yeah. that's okay <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You look what you did to me with Patsy a while ago. Like, oh, oh, boo, boo. Wow. <laughs> you do that every time she shows up. A few beers and you told the story to everybody. Oh. Now twice on internet. So if oh, anybody Amsterdam. missed, yeah, oh, if yeah. anybody missed the Philos and Keaton's podcast, now they know it for sure. So. <laughs> I know Xenia's what trying to say Xenia's trying to tell everybody here that she wants me to bring that no, picture up again. No, 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 for God's sake. Be, and, be, be. And <laughs> happy, happy well, wife, happy life. So. You get so comfortable, too. It's like yeah. you're having so much fun talking with everyone. You kind of forget that yes. anybody in the world can see what you're yeah. doing. Yes. 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 So, you true. know, that's where you have to, like, really reel it in a little bit. Although I think. Yeah. To with our background and some of the things that we've been through in the past, I think we've learned sometimes you can't talk about things or you yeah. can't yeah. say things like because right. there were some things that like I was alluding to a little bit um, that went on that we really couldn't talk about that were happening at the time. And that was kind of hard in a sense, but then it turned out to be a really good thing that we didn't. And I think that kind of sticks with you because it's like certain people you know, you may not want them to know where you're at yeah. or what you're doing type of thing. And so, you know, and that was the other thing that I think surprised Heidi when I said I'd come on here was because I pretty much stayed off of social media for years um, yeah. because I couldn't go on it for certain reasons. Right. And then when I said, OK, let's go on, I think I kind of shocked her. because, <clears throat> But I was coming out of my like, yeah. you know, you're not going to tell me I can't do something. <laughs> I'm going to do it and show you. And I think I feel pretty good about that. Heidi knows what I'm referring to. Nobody else probably does. Don't take it. You can just set it down right there. <laughs> no, I'm still drinking it. So why would I set it down? I want to. <laughs> no, 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 you're not. Xenia's not changing subject. The picture I'm she's continuing this subject. The picture she's referring <laughs> to is the night we were in Amsterdam. <laughs> that she doesn't like this picture. That was my profile picture in Facebook. <laughs> And 
that's my favorite picture of all time. So. It wasn't enough to tell you a couple of times or we had it on our private Facebook that I don't like a picture. Now you put it on YouTube. Like I said, times. So happy life, you. happy life. Next oh, time I so I'm there. You do look cute. Oh, we well, were cute, thank all right. You, but, uh, yeah, we were, <laughs> I know, we were Amsterdam I know cute. It's a good one. I'll fill you in later. I'll tell you all about it, Heidi. It was a good one. It's so cute. I'll fill her in later what happened. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely a while, an evening, we'll call it. <laughs> it's a good we one. don't get out often, so when we do it, we go in, in style. So that's all. <laughs> But when we did start though these live streams yeah. and and like even now doing live streams on, on YouTube for example, I still have trouble doing like lives on Instagram, which I should really. Uh, but I, I don't know. I always think about not so much as how much I'm gonna share from my life that would be too much, but from how whatever I'm sharing would eventually could possibly influence any of our children after. And it's really this open-ended question because, I mean, we don't know what is going to be okay or not okay in 20, 30 years, right? It's going to be right. completely reversed. Look at what's going on now that wasn't 20, 30 years ago, right? right. We can't predict that. But I oftentimes think to myself, like, do I think it's going to be okay for them? Is it not going to, you know, screw them up for something? Yeah. Uh, you know, things like that. And and that kind of limits in what I'm talking about. And that's, I think, why I have so much trouble going live on Instagram, for example, Part partly one reason why. Do you have those thoughts because you have kids as well when you do uh, the videos, when you do live streams? Yeah. I don't think so much when we do the videos. No, like when, when we, we do, do the videos. Like the live streams and the kids pop on or when I do like, my insta stories and that mm -hmm. sort of stuff like sometimes i'll put stuff on there and i'll then i'll second guess it just because you don't know who's watching yeah and you don't know who's paying attention and and, and somebody listening. might seem really nice and you might think they're <clears throat> somebody really cool and then and they turn not. out to be something that you didn't know that they were yeah. so i definitely worry like when they come on to our lives or when I, I, I stop and think a lot before yeah. I put stuff out. That or when we did a couple story times about my older son and I was afraid that it was going to upset my younger son that mm -hmm. I was talking about it. And so I actually asked him, are you okay with me talking about this? You know, and really and it wasn't that it was anything bad. It was about Make-A-Wish. And then I was talking some, a little, I've had people ask me about my mm -hmm. son and it was like, you know, I'm proud of him. Of course I'm going to talk about him, you know? Right. And, um, but it's a sensitive subject. And so it's like, you have to think of how to like approach it without like maybe triggering or upsetting someone. You're going to upset somebody. And not well, but Austin too. was okay with it. But Austin was okay with it. He wanted me to talk about his brother he was all for it mm -hmm. and then that I felt more comfortable doing it and I've actually had people ask me if I would do more of it as like you know informational or or just you know if I could give another parent advice that's going through something like that you know and I think we've thought about it but we just haven't done it yet because yeah, well that's like a hard it's subject. a hard subject well yeah it, it, i think it matters if you are at the place where where you feel right to do it uh, obviously there are lots of probably parents that would uh you know get inspired by what what you are saying so to say yeah. uh you know and, and share the experience what you were going through but mainly if you are at the place where you think you can do it i've always felt that, like I said, I've, I've always felt that you go things in, through life for reasons and, mm. you know, you're supposed to learn something from it, even something bad, try to find something positive <laughs> to pull out of it. And I've always felt since, uh, since he, shortly thereafter he passed, I had somebody ask me if I would go speak about it. And I couldn't at that time. It was like, no, I'm sorry. I, I just can't, but I've thought about it. Like, through the years and it's like okay I'll know when it's time and when I'm supposed to do this that's just the way I feel about it and I'm actually getting to the point where I do feel that I do want to talk a little bit about it not only to talk about him because I'm so proud of him and I love my baby so much but also maybe I could help 
someone out there who's going through the same thing I went through and maybe just give them one sliver of something to mm-hmm. help them through. Well, and maybe let them know that what they're feeling is normal. Is normal. They're not alone. And because you do feel alone and you don't feel normal. And, you know, I, I think you can learn a lot from people and experiences, good and bad, that they go through. Mm-hmm. And this is a great platform when you, that you have that you can, like you did, when, when you did that about the awareness, you know, about the invisible illnesses. Mm-hmm. I said that wrong. Illnesses. I can't say it. Say it. I, I didn't think you said it wrong at all. I didn't? Oh, okay. I said yeah. it right. <laughs> Sometimes I trip on my own words. But I thought you did a great job with that. And that kind of gave me the idea. It was like, hmm, maybe I could do, you know, and I know Heidi would be up for it and Heidi would do it. And she did it with me when we talked about him that little bit, when we talked about Make-A-Wish and everything, because I thought it was such an important thing mm-hmm. to, even if it just touched one person or that's all that matters. It doesn't have to reach a hundred. That'd be great if I could help a hundred people. But I'm not saying I have all the answers because I don't. <laughs> no, and of course, but, in the, the same way as you talk to people about your uh, youngest one, you yeah. know, you, you want to still talk about your oldest one as well. Yeah. It's still your son, right? That's so, right. He's still way, my son. Exactly. You, they, he was here, so... Well, and sometimes, like, when we first started going live, it was kind of uncomfortable for Heather because people would ask us how yeah. many kids we have. And what? I would answer my answer, and then Heather would have she would like just stumble because stumble. she didn't know how to answer. Like she has two kids, but yeah. then she had to explain, and it kind of became like I know that was awkward. Yeah, because um, I didn't want to upset or hurt anybody. And in, and like in my life, I've always answered I have two children. Like when I'm out and about, and somebody asks me, you know, when I had my younger son or something, how many kids do you have? I'd be like, I have two. And I'd be like, but I need to explain something to you. And I don't want to upset you, but I have two. I have an angel in heaven and my son here. And then I would talk about a little bit about my son. And sometimes people would walk away. And, but they did that when, when he was here too, because he was disabled. And you can ask my sister. I, we felt discrimination as far as that went, because sometimes people would look at this little child. Well, sometimes and people in general and life. They just, just don't aren't. understand. Yeah, they just and they don't understand, understand what they do, yeah. And I would always say, gee, I wish people would just come up and ask me, you know, and not just, yeah. like, stare or walk away or be afraid. He can't hurt them. That's and- it. Everybody's mean. Some people just, it's just they don't know how to act in the situation. Some people are mean, for sure, but some people don't right. know how to act. Yeah. It's right. like you're at a funeral and you don't know how to act. If you don't know people well and you feel so uncomfortable, it makes you do the wrong things you don't mean to. Mm-hmm. That's yes. exactly. And she would have to constantly explain that to me because I would be in the midst of going through everything he was going through. Yes. And how they took everything son, so personal. You know, mm-hmm. and I had. Instead of just like where I'm more of like, whatever, like maybe yeah. they're having a day, maybe they don't know what to do. Like, just let it go. Like, and it cares? was hard because my mm-hmm. kids were only two years apart, but he was like an infant in certain ways. Yeah. So mm-hmm. as far as like, he needed full care. So it was like, I had that. And then I would have these people and I'd be like, are you, I just want to take that person over there and <laughs> let me yeah. have them. And yeah. Heidi would be like, no, 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 you know. And then there'd be other people that would be like, especially kids, they're the greatest. They'd come up, and then their parents would have to. And then it was okay. But then, like, after he passed away, and when people would ask me and I would answer the question, I would have some people walk away. And it was like, wow, did, you know, what was that all about? And I didn't know how to take it at first. And then yeah. I talked to her, and she was like, how do they might not know what to say to you? They might yeah. be afraid. And it's, well, because when someone says that to you, you're, you're shocked. <laughs> you're shocked and you don't, anything you say isn't going to be right. Right. You know, mm-hmm. like whatever you say, oh, I'm sorry, or yeah. that sucks, mm-hmm. or that, you know, like nothing you say is going to sound okay. So yeah. I wouldn't say I approve of anyone walking away and not saying anything, but she would talk to me about it and explain mm-hmm. it to me because I would like take it full on. Now, my son, Austin, he understood. He'd be like, mom, no, they're, they're just, they don't understand. You know, they don't get it. It's okay. And that's why this has been such a good thing for me because I'm, I'm learning how to take mm-hmm. people. Right. Like, 
constructive criticism I'm learning how to take because we've not got much, just a little bit. And I was like, okay, you know, I'm not going to get picked. I'm just going to look at that. Well, but you're more confident now. Yeah. You know, like Heather feels more, I feel like you feel better about yourself now. You know, so it's kind of definitely helped, I think. And and you have more relationships with other people. Yeah. I don't feel so alone because you do feel Mm -hmm. alone. And then I got the fiber on top of it. And it was like my whole world changed. And it was like, oh, my gosh. And it was like, come on, you know, what next? And then our mom, breast cancer, and it was like, oh, you've got to be kidding me. And she beat it, you know, she was very fortunate in that, but it was still like, wow, you know, and it brought back all those memories. I think of everything I had gone through with my oldest is what happened. And I think the fibro kind of does that to me too, a little bit, because it kind of not totally the same, but the fact that, you know, now my health isn't what it used to be. And it's like, wow, geez, you know, come on, you know, I, and I'm sure you know how I feel. It's like, you want your health back or you want to feel somewhat normal because you feel alone, but coming on, I've met so many people that say I have fibro, I have depression. Oh yes. I've, I've lost a child and it's like, wow, okay. I have an instant connection with Mm -hmm. you just about. Uh, have you, have you heard about, and, and as the more and more I talk with people on YouTube about, uh, about having fibromyalgia or, or chronic fatigue syndrome and talking with you about what you have gone through, uh, in, in life before, um, have you thought about, and I have read about that, uh, uh, they say that, uh, big mental or physical traumas is uh, one of the major causes yeah. of uh, fibromyalgia. Yeah. What they've actually said that? that to me. They've, they've, they've told me, um, that they feel, cause it, cause you figure depression and fibro kind of work together. Yeah. They, they, they do because it's like fibro makes the depression worse. Depression makes the fibro worse. And so it's like, okay, well, how do you fix which one and which one do you fix first? And how do you do it? And with me, it just seems like a never ending, you know, yeah. circle that you're going through. You feel like a hamster on a wheel. And so it's like, yeah, I do agree with you that, you know, I think, if you've been through so many traumas in your life and I've been through a lot and I'm not saying that I've been through more than anybody else. I'm not saying that. Um, but I think when you've been through some of the things they feel that I've gone through, that's brought on what's mm-hmm. happening now. And so it's like, okay, so how do we fix it? <laughs> yeah. yeah still that's the next it. question. <laughs> <laughs> still haven't fixed it like they can't seem to figure out um like what meds work with me they've told me i might be medicine resistant and i'm like excuse me like that's a thing (laughs) or does that just mean you don't know what to do um so i mean but i finally got like a good group now that they're trying to like work on me and stuff but that's the other thing when i'm on here i don't for you don't forget about the pain but you're not focused Yes, it's a good distraction for the. It's mom. a distraction. Yeah, yeah, yeah and everybody's so fun. Thing. Sometimes you know we go into stuff and it's really lighthearted and just oh, yeah. silly. And um, I laugh my butt off. It's <laughs> like, I, <laughs> like sometimes you just laugh your butt off, and it's like you find yourself sitting in a room alone laughing your butt off, and then it's like somebody will be like, "What are you laughing at?" And it's like, "Oh, don't worry about it. You wouldn't get it. You know, yeah. you got to see it." <laughs> It's YouTube world. Yeah. <laughs> I, I agree, though, too, in a way, too. Like, us with live streams, I find it, it uh, pushed uh, us, and I can say about myself, definitely, about thinking more about my everyday routine or getting ready or putting even makeup on. And I've yeah. started, you know, doing more because of the live streams. And I wasn't so much because we had, you know, kids were little, and then I got sick. And then it's like, you know, you don't care yeah. because you're depressed and in pain, and you're just put something and or nothing and just go out right and yeah. and the getting back into this made me like want to do it again yeah. you know yeah. uh, it's, we, it, it, it's amazing what it, it, it does and there's times I'll be talking to somebody like you know on Instagram live or something and they'll be like oh you know today's just a no makeup day and they know exactly what that means she's not feeling good you know <laughs> She's not good. And they, although it's, it's rare that you see Heather come out of the house with no makeup yeah, on. Yeah, this face takes a lot of work. So it's like, <laughs> you know, it, it, 
I very rarely now do walk out of the house without makeup on. It's like if I leave without, you know, foundation, it's amazing. It's like, whoa, she's without foundation, you know, <laughs> but <laughs> because I feel like, wow, naked. Um, but it's just, I don't know. It just, it changes you. Cause even you, like she wears makeup now. I mean, she did before, but well, like I wear makeup now. She does the Heidi Like look. before I, like before this, Earlier in the day, Heidi had no makeup on. No. She like, can go out without I makeup. I don't wear a lot of makeup, uh, but I do like to play with it, and this has made it more fun for me to do that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Exactly. It does. And you, and then you find yourself, it's like, wow, I have a lot of makeup. Well, Heather has a lot of makeup. <laughs> <laughs> and and it's, I don't know. and it, But it's nice when somebody compliments you, too. I mean, it sounds, it just makes you feel good. Like, you know, if somebody yeah, tells Heather, you. Heather, we went to the grocery store today, and, like, Heather knows all the damn people that work at the Giant Eagle. Like, everybody's like, hey, Heather. Oh, look, hi, Heather. Hey, tell your mom I said hi. I'm like, who the hell are all these people, and why do you know them all? Like, they're so friendly. Why? I talk to them. It's like, because they're there. You know, I'm they like, say hi to me. I'm, I'm like, like, how oh, often do you go to the grocery store? They, like, know you on a personal level. Like, they know me at Ulta. So I walk in you. there and they're like, hey, Heather. And I'm like, hey, how you doing? What do you mean today? <laughs> Don't know yet. I've even made friends. I've even made friends with the security guard at our kid's dentist, and my sister always says I should work for the FBI because I know everybody. <laughs> and he's Thank out you, Andrew, with me. See? What's that? You have to be friendly. I don't know. It's just like you just find yourself. I don't know. It's like they said hi to you too. Well, well she's like, "Who's that? Is that your sister?" <laughs> and I'm like, "Yeah, peace. Like we're out here. Like I so. like." <laughs> I'll remember you when you won't let me use my coupon. I'll remember Heather more. <laughs> like, Heather's my sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use it up. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. It's just fun. Like, and the fact that we get to, like I said, we get to do it together. And I think that's, I look forward to that. It's like, and you have to admit, you look forward to it too. What, hanging out with you? Yeah. <laughs> Do. I do, I do. Yeah, although we've had people tell us, I we had one person say to us, you know, you don't look like sisters. And then we had somebody else say to us, how long have you been sisters? And we were like, since birth. <laughs> how long have you been sisters? What is the question? <laughs> well, Heidi claims she has a different dad, so. Well, we would like, like to believe that. We would like to believe that, yeah. It that, could benefit you. It could, if we had a different dad. I told her maybe she was a mix-up at the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it makes her feel better. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you never know. You never know. I asked my mom. I saw my doppelganger. Is that what they call it? Your twin? Your doppelganger? My doppelganger. I've seen her like three times and I've been mistaken wow. for her. And I went home and was like, Mom, just tell me I had a twin, right? And you gave her up. You did. You did. You had to have. Or I was adopted. And she's like, what the hell are you talking about? And I'm like, mom, you know what I'm talking about. And then Poor there's mom. this one, the milkman's my dad. And I'm like, I need to stop. <laughs> <laughs> and first of all, the milkman was really old. And then she went to the postman and I'm like, no, it was a woman. You so never that know. Worked. You never know. <laughs> yeah. Heidi, she's been trying for years to just say she, but we're, no. We're full <laughs> we are definitely related. Definitely, yeah. Our kids <laughs> all look alike. So we're definitely, I used to laugh because people would, I'd be at the store with my kids and she'd be like 16, 18 years old and they'd be like, oh, look how cute your kids are. And I'd be like, excuse me, they're not hers. They look like me. They're mine. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> thank you, yes. She'd be like, thanks. I was eight when I had them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> So we definitely are related, but no, we have fun. Most we haven't had like a lot of problems with people. No, no. We get the we give them the boot. We give them the boot. Like they, we have good wrenchers, and if we get those few little trolls that come in, eh, they get the boot before we even see it, and it's like cool. <laughs> you wasted your time for nothing, but you gave us watch time. Thanks. <laughs> That's how we kind of look at it. <laughs> Well, I think that's part. I, I gotta say something because uh, A. Joe had posted this a minute ago uh, to you guys. Uh, Beauty and the Bar. Great to see you here on the best live stream on YT. Up and up and personal. 
so lovely and you guys rock you are you are you guys are awesome to you oh thank you oh, that's so nice oh that's sweet thank yeah. you everybody's so nice in here yeah that's why i love coming here well, I sound like I'm going somewhere. It's like, but, do, but it is kind of like going. We always say it's kind of a bit like a comedy club. Everybody's sitting at their tables. They mingle a bit. There's like, you know, something to watch on the stage. Yeah. And I do believe you set the tone like you guys were saying with trolls. Same here. If you keep your tone pretty good, troublemakers tend not to enjoy this site. If you start really going after them, that's when you start to find having the real problems. But we've kept it pretty positive and they kind of tire themselves out like kids soon and they leave because they realize yeah. they're not it's like why do yeah you... they keep trying and then yeah. it's like i mean it takes a lot to offend me so like yeah. some of the stuff people write i actually get a good chuckle out yeah, of we think it's yeah. funny. like i think it's really funny it's like give us some more we can we can come back with something after for it yeah you know? so oh, yeah but you're not gonna offend us we've heard it all no. probably or said it ourselves so <laughs> i always hate to bring up their name again because it sounds like i'm pushing them with that night we're on craft beard pours on their live stream oh, oh my yeah. god they were attacked by the germans 161 yeah. dislikes like say at one point at 80 yeah. some people and like a 99 percent were trolls they even took over the live stream there was like yeah. a couple of them on live and it was ridiculous <laughs> and they they're so nice it's yeah like, i know bother the i mean why take it to, are you that bored in your life well that you they have can't to have that? them take their german beer away <laughs> <laughs> maybe that, that was, was it competition there <laughs> They didn't like that. <laughs> we keep it pretty fr family friendly here, but I did say that night when there was, because uh, Trish was kind of getting fed up with it, and you know, there's yeah. 151 dislikes. And I said, Yeah, I said, it's sad that 151 guys couldn't get laid tonight. So they had to <laughs> <laughs> all in the beer tent. <laughs> Not got something to brag first... about. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. We got our first two dislikes the other day, and it, we were, like, laughing about it. We were like, yeah. finally, we got our first two. You're wow, not somebody you know? to have a dislike. <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. You know? And you make know us feel bad. That's interaction still. The odd dislike is good because it shows that you're not buying likes and stuff like that. I truly believe that it's good to have a little mix-up in the ratio now and then. Like, you don't want it crazy over the top. But a couple here and there just makes your channel look that much more genuine to the algorithm. Yeah, because the algorithm, I don't get it. I'm trying to learn it, and just when I think I got it, I don't got it. I don't even look. I don't pay attention. Because they change it. I could care do. less. And it's, it's like one day we like lot it. We we like a thousand. It was like a thousand hours or something just disappeared right in front of my face, and I'm like, oh. huh? and I'm like, okay, <laughs> and I'm like, that should fix itself. I don't know if it ever did or not. It was yeah. like, I figured YouTube ain't going to care what I say because oh. I'm little. So why bother? You know, I you remember. To to bigger guys. Did you write to the YouTube though? Because you could still write and uh, and, and tell them. It, it, yeah, yeah, it might be just a mistake. Uh, well, I asked Heidi, I said, did we get anything in our spam or any emails or something I should know about? And mm. she was like, no. And I'm like, well, we lost a thousand hours. I watched it. I actually happen. haven't gone back on to see if it was corrected itself i don't think it did no no yeah, I, it did. I would get in touch with them because yes we are small so to say but uh, it still can be just a mistake and and they're not gonna notice unless... it was a mistake because it like happened like within a second i'm like yeah. whoa i'm like no um, that can't be right and i like thought i kept refreshing it thinking okay it's gonna change it's gonna yeah change. no it did they're pretty good at answering the technical no, part so let's try it out Night, Austin. I love you. No, I really embarrassed him. <laughs> oh, night, night, Austin. Night, night, Austin. I love oh, you. Oh, That's my favorite oh, Looney oh. <laughs> We had uh, on, uh, the big English radio station here in Montreal. We had uh, this woman. She was so awful with her kids. And her kids were, like, going in, like, a, she was on enough that they were in the end of high school going into, uh, well, Sejap or college. Mm -hmm. call it. She was brutal how she would talk about these kids, and she had a name for them. What was it? Something the M and M's or something stupid like that. Oh like my this, god! All over, like you know, to have you know probably three quarters of a million people in the city, 
and she'd talk about them. And I remember she had a discussion about, like, you know, her two boys and her husband, which ones sit down when they go to the bathroom to take a leak and which ones. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Like, I would murder her in her sleep. Like, she would radio. never see the All light of day. City, like, terrible. And she yeah. lose her kids. Like, nobody came in and took them or oh, they didn't like years old. They were in college. Imagine oh. the mother is talking about you. Yeah. Peeing, sitting down yeah. while you are I in the would college. Talk about Austin's bathroom habits. <laughs> it's like, you know, that's just off limits. Well, she probably thought it was getting her like a attention. The wrong oh yeah, time. yeah. yeah. Uh, oh my this, god, the like everything. Kids, you know? This kids' lives. I knew them like the like better than I knew my own kid at the time. She was that open about it. And was just constantly into everything. And that's the, crazy. You, you see nuclear war. Well, her son watched the show with nuclear war. She's one of these parents. Whatever somebody did, they did ten times more. If you seen a cow walk across, the oh road, yeah, seen a moose tap dance over a highway. It was always. <laughs> <laughs> You know, yeah. but she would go on with these things, and I'm thinking, can you imagine what it was like that for that kid in college? You know, like, a, oh, look at me, gumdrop, I'm peeing standing up. You know, I can. <laughs> oh, that's sad. See, even on YouTube, I've noticed not how people get away with it, but some of the things that people post on YouTube, and oh, yeah. it's just like, are you kidding me? I know, and Heather won't let me curse. Yeah, yeah and, and here I am yelling at her not to curse. Meanwhile, they're doing like pretty much everything. And it's just like you've got I know. to be kidding me. And I say a bad word, and Heather's like, "Oh my god, now I gotta cover that up. Now I gotta fix it." <laughs> but it's like, <laughs> oh my goodness, it's like, and then you and think, then I see like some of these headlines of their videos, and I'm like, "Whoa!" Or they've got like you know pretty much not much going on, or they're doing something like I wouldn't be doing on there, and uh -huh. they're getting away with it. And it's like, how on earth? Yeah. Do you get away with some stuff? And then, like, if we would swear, we'd probably get, like, something for it. Whereas yeah. they get away with it. I don't understand. We've done Why a couple of things. We get a bit, sometimes we call it the adult swim portion of the show. Sometimes around 10.30 at night, 11 o'clock, and we're still on. Sometimes we'll kick Yeah, and like T-Strong here was saying, that I uh, love the adult conversation here, even the adult swim time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and we, yeah, but it's, like, mild compared to. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. for sure. And, like, and my sister. My sister's in the chat sometimes. I, she surprised us because she never goes on YouTube. She actually made an account and comes watch. <laughs> and she gets on the phone with me after she watched it, and she's like, what the is wrong with you? And I'm like, what? <laughs> you have a non-swearing channel? <laughs> she's like, shocked. <laughs> Out of everything we've done, that's what's shocking her the most is I'm able to keep it together. And I'm like, well, I'm trying. Not after 10. Once yeah, 10 o'clock, yeah. we, once we run past 10, <laughs> that's it. Yeah. You never know what's going to come up after that. <laughs> run it really good i mean it's like i don't see the gins are mild compared yeah, to that's it. Hello. well it, some of it's clickbait like yeah you can so, yeah. yeah which is like, stupid it's hard because we got so many different groups in here and it's not wanting to offend everyone. it's kind of finding that balance right. But we also don't want to be the Waltons, you know so it is kind of a fine line to kind of bow <laughs> no but you know i don't want to be corny uh, we uh want to be yeah. the Brady we're the happy family i don't want to do that <laughs> But I also don't want to turn into like Howard Stern or uh, Dave yeah, Chappelle. No, but you're or, authentic. I mean, you are, yeah. you are, and then the conversation follows. That's yes, we are. We're you know, it's that's the tone. Yes, yeah, that's true. Oh. That's right. And I am getting better at watching it. You know, I had to at first. I had to really watch it. But PG thirteen, Susie just wrote. Yeah, except <laughs> when we except when we show off Susie's cakes, and then it goes really adult. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God! I got up. I don't know, Susie. I'm sorry. Uh, I, uh, Susie, if you've seen it or not, uh, Stephanie from Best Friends of Thread today was on the naughty gift situation on Twitter. I don't know what was up on her. She was po posting these gifts uh, that looked naughty but wasn't so naughty. So obviously, what did I post? I post Susie's <laughs> cake. <laughs> <laughs> the the most legendary. naughtiest legendary gif ever. So, Susie, if you haven't seen, go on Steph's Twitter and check it out. The whole conversation. Oh, I'm now. <laughs> Dirty talk, I said. <laughs> and I know all of you are saying right now, what cakes are you talking about of Susie's? We've never yeah, heard of these before. nobody has seen them before. <laughs> so just for anybody who never seen this... <laughs> Because, you know, <laughs> this is the first time for everything. <laughs> so I don't want to slow down the flow that we got going on here. There's the rub, the one. We're a little cautious. Take on both of them there. There you go. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, Susie's got the magic hands. The latest video, she has uh, uh, something that is a crossover between oh my Twinkies <laughs> and, and Hostess Cakes. I needed like, a cigarette after I was Yeah, I know. Explosive. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> took our advice as creative criticism. Went yeah, your doodles is saying that you're missing the stripper music. Oh yes, yeah, that's the burlesque we, music. Yeah, that's right. it, it yeah. wasn't wasn't oh, that. Doodles is in the stream. Hi, doodles. Heather likes doodles. We, I love doodles. I you know their husband and doodles. wife, right? Huh? You know their husband and wife? Yeah. We I didn't know that. Do I learned that here? <laughs> okay, you were here for that one. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sad when <laughs> silent. <laughs> No, I love watching Doodle Doodle because my son draws. Oh. So it's like I love to watch stuff like that. Yeah. And so I'm like mesmerized. I'm like, uh, you know, sitting there watching it. But, and of course, how are you like, Heather? <laughs> could you do that again? No, I probably couldn't if I tried. I probably couldn't like redo that <laughs> face again. Thanks, Hyde. You're welcome. It was like my cleaning of the brushes thing. My. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Bottle Caps was shocked when he found out about Susie and Doug married. He was kind of apologetic. Yeah, we find he doesn't come as often now since then because he's afraid to run into Doug now. Well, did you see his video when he was celebrate when he did his live stream of the 200, I think it was 200 mm -hmm. subscribers, and he talked? And, like, I, yeah. I swear, I, like, went, whoa. What yeah. Was <laughs> he has a voice. He has a yeah, voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like shocked. It was like, oh my gosh, put the put the tablet down a minute. And I was like, am I hearing things? And it was like, wow, that's cool. I think he needs to talk more in his videos. And he's such a cool guy. I uh, I love his work. I I'm so jealous of somebody who can draw like that. I, mm -hmm. I wish it's such an amazing talent. Well, that's like my son can draw. Her son can draw. Your daughter. All my kids are all, pretty good. They all draw, and it's like, where did it come from? Because. <laughs> I can't. I'm lucky I can do a stick figure. You know, I can do nail art, but don't ask me to sit down and draw something because that ain't happening. But it's like they all can like draw and build and do all these things. And it's like, well, something must have been done, right? Yeah. Yeah. They got all the stuff that we didn't get. Okay. Doodle. I'll go with that. Yeah. <laughs> doodles, yeah. By, doodles by Doug Road. I'm more than just a pair of hands. <laughs> He always comes up with the cutest things. I just, I'm not even looking at the chat. Yeah, it's like hard. To, I'm just like, I have Heidi's to... hiding the chat from me. Uh -huh. that, well, I it's too much to read. Like, it's too much. It is. Too much. Okay. That's it's why I'm all like, happening. I can't, like, do it all at once. Yeah, usually, and poor Heidi, usually I'm, like, shoving stuff on her. Like, here, hold this. Take that. And her hands are, like, literally, like, full. Things are dropping. And I'm just like keeping. I basically stuff. said today in the video that we filmed that I'm Vanna White and I'm just here to hold her shit and show it off. Because <laughs> <laughs> like while she talks about everything that she just got, <laughs> I give her stuff. I give her stuff. That was how that went today. It um. did. Yeah. We it, it, and then after that, it was done. It was like every video after that, it was like shot. Like I couldn't get it together for nothing. But we filmed anyways. Yeah, I'm Vanna White. You're yeah. Vanna White now. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's, that's my new. Um, that's just the role I'm playing. It could be worse jobs. <laughs> you call yourself <laughs> Vanna White. Playing. You said that before uh -huh. about us. I forgot all about that. Yeah, she <laughs> says the same thing about herself with what I do to her. So there you go. <laughs> I just thought of that now. She called herself Vanna White a couple of times. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Now you oh, yeah. <laughs> now, how do you say your name again? Because I, I can't say this right. I love life. when Heather tries to say your name. I tried to say your name three times in the grocery store because we were YouTube talking in the grocery store, like <laughs> uh, literally yelling at each other down owls about YouTube stuff. How is the bottle caps going today? <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you talking about? That video. Can you believe they want to do this? 
And like literally, and I'm forgetting people are around us, and, and we're in a grocery store. Actually, Heather gave me anxiety in the damn grocery store. I today did because she wouldn't shut up. Like literally, <laughs> from the time I picked her up till the time I pulled in my driveway, I she had a lot to tell. Was her. like telling me all this stuff, and that's why, I, like, I sent you guys that tweet message <laughs> that I was literally freaking out about this because she <laughs> was like just nonstop. All these things, and I'm like, oh my god, how am I supposed to get through this <laughs> at all? I had a lot to tell you, and I had to get it out before I forgot. Heather scared me. I scared her. She's like, oh my god, I'm having panic. I'm like, over what? I'm like, it's Usa. I'm like, you're fine. And she's like, you're telling me everything, and I'm trying to grocery shop at the same time. And it's just not well. It was like this and that. We have to do this and this and this and that and this and this and this. And I'm like, holy shit! I'm trying to buy like broccoli. Can I have a second? Like, give me a second. <laughs> That's why I said people were probably wondering what the hell was wrong with this because we're just like. And then you we're were like, we're like two little ladies like bickering and. <laughs> 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 like move or i'll run you over and it's like Damn, okay <laughs> you were getting in my way i was getting in her way she would move me too she's like you better move i'm like okay i'm moving do you guys see each other every day no 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 talk. <laughs> there's a glowing <laughs> endorsement <laughs> Other tweet or no i text and then I wait. And then she waits and waits and waits for and me then to I text wait, her wait, back. Wait. <laughs> so then I'll text some more. And then I'll wait. And then finally I'm like, oh, son of a... And so then I'll start like just major texting her, knowing her little thing's going off on her wrist. And she eventually <laughs> has to like answer it. And then I'll get three words back. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, what the hell am I supposed to do with that? Like, I just texted you a whole paragraph. I know it pisses her off. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like if I'm on the phone. She has told me that she will actually put the phone down, <laughs> walk away, go do something, come back and go, uh-huh. Because she talks and talks and talks. Like, she talks, she texts like she talks. So I like, have to give you the details. I literally said I had my son text her back. My mom is driving <laughs> right now. We're on the highway. <laughs> She's going to ha- no, so did Heather stop texting me? <laughs> no. Like, five more text messages come in, and I'm like, can you text her back? Stop texting me. <laughs> I'm driving. Because I have things to tell you. So, no, we do not see each other every day. We would kill each other. <laughs> but we normally talk, and then when we do see each other, sometimes it's a couple days in a row. Sometimes it's just like, you know, one day, but I'll get everything I need to tell her and more because I can't just like answer a question. Like, no. I, like now, she can't I, just answer. <laughs> <a question. laughs> I'm going to give you like every, like, and then sometimes I'll forget and I'll go on to something totally different. And Heidi will be like, what the mm, are you talking about right now? I asked you about the tuna, not that. <laughs> and you're like telling me about. Oh, and this man did this. Set the scene like there was a red bird that flew uh, by, and like a little bunny hopped, uh, and then I uh, saw uh, uh, die, and I'm like, holy shit! Like, what happened? Uh huh. Welcome <laughs> to my life. Oh, I, I have to do that. I can't. I, you need the details. That's what life is oh. about. Giving exactly. She drives me to the point of the like, like, exactly. exactly. The point. You have yeah. to give. And like, if you go off the road okay. a little bit and go do a side story, it's okay. Because yeah. you're giving them more information into your day. Like, if I go to the doctor and Heidi will say, how did it go? I can't just say, it went this no, way. No, I don't say, how did it go? I say, I don't have a lot of time, Heather. <laughs> now tell me how it went. And then it's still freaking 45 minutes later. I tell her everything the doctor said. And what then he I wore. Said. They chuckled. <laughs> they had a laugh. He gave her a hug. Like, I don't give a crap. It was raining. <laughs> like, I have to give... My mom, our poor mom, I drive her crazy too because she'll be like, Heather, she'll ask me something and I'll be like, five, 10 minutes later, I give her the answer. And she'll be like, why couldn't you have told me that 10 minutes ago? And I'm like, because. Like, start with the answer. I can't. I have a wife that tells a story that's equal to like crack being infused with fentanyl. <laughs> like, <I don't- laughs> It's got details that I never thought could be put in a story or not it's matter important. anymore from the words. It creates a whole picture. Here's Otherwise, me. you're me. losing. I it. went to the store. Guess what? A uh, dog ran out in front of me. Done. Yeah. 
Well, I went out that morning and the wind was blowing and I see yeah. the grass and you know what? It was flickering more to the left. No, it was more to the right because I remember that black <laughs> thing on the edge of the grass all going towards the house. And I think the guy was putting out his laundry that morning. I wasn't sure <laughs> But I like what he bought with that shirt. You know, that was pretty nice. You know, I like where he was going with it. And I knew that part. I was like, get to the sport. Get to the point. Jesus Christ, I can't even keep up with you anymore. I don't know what you're talking about. I, by the time you tell me the point, I forgot where we even started. And so. then I started comparing with the movie that I don't remember yes, the title. Yeah. You know, the one with the guy. You know, with the song. You know, the one with the drums, Andrew. Yeah. I do that like all kinds of big hints. You can tell a 40-minute story about walking across the yard. <laughs> but the song, what do you give me? It's the one with the drums. That is Heather. That's me. It's I, I tell people, I was like this since the day I was born. Do you think I'm going to change? Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not going to change. Thanks I for calling me home. Mom, you did it to me. That's you why me I, way. I try and not engage in too much conversation with Heather. But she does. I try not to answer the phone. Doesn't work. I, we have to text. Doesn't work because I still get the Rudia. Well, but I can at least like scroll through the text <laughs> to get to the point. I can't like fast forward you talking. Then she gets mad because I'll do yins, 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 yins. And I'll write yins. Like I'll write yins <laughs> it drives me up the wall. And she'll be like, stop it. I'll get like this, stop it. So yins, 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 yins. And it's like, oh, I'm driving her crazy. Well, that's good. I mean, and then even my son has said to me at times, mom, <laughs> would you please, I don't need to know what the person was wearing, what they smelled like. What they were doing, how their breasts smelt, you know, whatever it was. I don't need to know any of that. I just want to know, did you get this? <sighs> well, yeah. <laughs> but I have to tell yeah, you. So no, we definitely don't see each other. No. But maybe once a week. Once or twice a week. Yeah. Sometimes it's twice a week. And then I don't have as much to tell her because I told her the day before. All right. No. So what you're saying more often interaction would be more preferable. <laughs> like, Maybe for her. I'd be like, no! Yeah. Or I'll be like, Heidi, <laughs> we need to film. Okay. <laughs> what time? And then I'll wait and I'll wait. Mm. Meanwhile, she's forgetting that I'm the one that has to get everything ready well, to go over here. You're forgetting here. that I am running around like shoving food down my throat whenever I have a chance. Like, I i can't just be like, oh, yes, yada, yada, Heather, yada. let me check my calendar. Da, da, da. <laughs> and it's like, I'll be like, I need just please, I need a time. If you give me a time, I'll shut up. I'm like, I want to effing sleep in for once. <laughs> Leave me the F alone. <laughs> Stop texting me. <laughs> Join us tomorrow on Montel Williams when our next one. <laughs> <family. laughs> she still loves me, though. I do. Yeah, she still claims me as her sister. She still admits I'm her sister. So on YouTube, can. anyways. <laughs> oh, oh, girls, you're amazing. <laughs> That's a for a big story. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, Andrew, now you can't complain because Heidi goes through it here. Yeah, 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 no, I feel like I have a kindred spirit now, at least. Yeah, see, I feel, pain, as well. I feel you. See, the happy Canadian saying the same thing going on yeah. there. You know, everybody goes <laughs> the same thing. You're not the only one. Don't feel There's so a bad. lot of us out there. Annalise of Halos and Heathen said she was the same way. Yeah. Really? Well, I, yeah, I, someone I, said yeah. it's because you're creative. Except thank the you. Whoever said I'm creative, Lola. thank you. Um, yes. The Susie channel. Oh, thank you, Susie. <laughs> creative um, i'm assuming that's what she meant oh but i think that that, that makes sense <laughs> i have a creative mind because i do not i'm very simple You're yeah but you need one of each that's what makes things work it's good if if you have like the opposite well, yeah i imagine if both of us would be talking like that oh, we would never God, get out of the house <laughs> oh, still be saying hello to each other for the first time <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, I got nightmares and shivers down my spine. Just thinking about... <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> well, we did. We met on a computer game. You guys know that, one, right? <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my god, it's too funny. <laughs> well, and we met on a video game. And that's how we first video. met. And we were typing to each other, and like, and she would type these pages and pages, and I'd be like, "Yeah, I, I agree." 
That's me. And the, it's like <laughs> star codes coming in like this, and I'm like, holy shit, is she the one? Who did like, but I'm like scrolling, scrolling. Well, you didn't scrolling. get a kin then. <laughs> And I would lose, what? I would lose Why my train surprised? of thought, and I would be going through it. I go back up and start <laughs> reading again. I'm like, oh. <laughs> There's a point that's here somewhere. I know that's there is. Text messages. Yeah, that's my text messages. It's paragraphs. Yeah, while she's driving, sometimes while I'm driving, and she'll tell me that, and I'll be like, I don't care. It's on your wrist. All you do is talk to it. You're fine. <laughs> yeah. She'll be like, I'm working out right now. I can't talk. A second later, I'm texting her again. Could that you please actually just tell me? me <laughs> you just summarize an answer. They should then... come up with an app that summarizes the Oh text. my god, I paid a million dollars. <laughs> Translation. Yeah, yes, exactly. Yeah. Oh my god, you guys should do so the video of translation of like how <laughs> one talks and that would be a good video, one. guys. <laughs> translation. That would really seriously, yes, that would be a really good video. That would be so video. hilarious. Yeah, that would be a good idea. <laughs> Do that. We should do that. That would be so hilarious. My God. <laughs> and she tells a lot of stories, and I do it. Then when I tell her something that's big for me to tell her, she always, I say it in a sentence, and she still doesn't get the point. She'll take the point that's so minuscule, doesn't matter. And I'll be like, and this guy was out in the car, and he drove out in front, and then he almost hit somebody. She'd be like, well, what was he doing on a Thursday out there? And like, oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus, I gave you a sentence and a half. How the hell are you wearing that shirt? Too little uh, information. Well, what's his name? You know, like, I don't care. I don't care. Like Heidi will tell me a story, and I'll be like, like, it'll be, like, something really important, and I'll get that. But yeah. I'll hear the, like, little details that she might yes. occasionally throw in, because very rarely does she. So right. when she does, I'm just like, ooh. I gotta grab on exactly. that. Finally, finally, somebody could explain it so you can understand. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a video for you, okay? Oh, yeah. Tutorial. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. I'm going back again. It's hey, okay. Person who won't shut up. <laughs> hey, okay, Forging was on a while ago, and they said, I have two questions for Andrew. What are you drinking? And two, why are you half in frame? I said, honestly, there's three women talking. There's no room for me here anyway. So. <laughs> And off of my own, just my place. So three women. It's, it's a listening sport tonight. Spectating. <laughs> oh. oh boy! We oh, like you guys are amazing. Oh, thank you so much for coming yeah. over today. <laughs> yeah, so thank you for fun. having us. This was so much fun. It was. Oh, see? How far apart do you guys live? Like, um, just roughly, because you said you get together and you got to come over to do stuff like this. Oh, so. we only live like three or four miles because I actually was running out of gas one day, remember? And yeah. I had like 12 miles and I, I managed she, yeah, to make to it get me there and, and back because I don't do getting gas. She like, don't do getting oh. gas. So. <laughs> She's like, we may run out of gas. And I'm like, what? I called her. I was like, I made it home with two miles left. And I'm like, oh, thank God. So how many miles was that? And then she told me, and I'm like, oh, that ain't far. So we only live, like, three or four miles. Yeah, we're not that far from each other. So it's like, if we want to see each other. Like, Heather walk. could walk here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> won't. <laughs> That's kind of a long trot, I would I say, myself. I can bicycle. <laughs> I'll get you a bicycle for Christmas. Oh, there we go. A bicycle on over. With a little basket. <laughs> with, with all the props for your next video in the basket, yeah. Over. Oh, you can make a video about that. Uh, <laughs> you can stop and tell stories along the way. <laughs> I would probably have them up by the time I got we'll here. We'll set you up with like a little booth, like Heather's story time. And let me... <laughs> <laughs> I need to write more often. <laughs> You got some good ideas tonight. I really think you could put these together. I think you got something, honestly. Yeah, that's funny. That's <laughs> well, we have a blog, and I, I do blog, and it's, like, it's usually it. associated with what's going on on the channel. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, I thought, wow, if I like really sat down and wanted to like blog, I would drive her crazy because she pre reads everything after I do it. Yeah, and yeah. I'm like, edit, 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 edit ends edit. out, ends out, ends out. That detail does not need to be there. She'd be like, why is that there? And like, my five paragraph thing goes down to like three. <laughs> it's like, what happened? But yeah, I've often thought maybe I should just blog about 
something, just not beauty. Maybe just, I don't know. I didn't even know you have blog till today because I, I, I just happened to search uh, some stuff. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, they have a blog. It's not like, you know, well, why are you hiding it? Out there because a lot of people really don't like to read blogs, I don't think, because they don't have the attention span. So it's either they want to read it or they don't. And But I like to do it because for me, I don't know. I just like doing it. It's like fun. It's like, I don't know. Yeah, but some people, I think, still still read blogs. I mean, you know, a lot of people have this interaction between the channel and the social media and it's all yeah. into the blog. So, like, I was surprised you don't have it on the mention, like, in the channel as a social link. That's why I'm like, I oh, usually don't put it. It's usually in the video. Yeah, it's usually in the video because, see, <laughs> I'm not technologically advanced yet to put links in for some reason. I have issues. <laughs> Like we did a collab one time and I had to have her put the links in because I couldn't do it. You I'm just like copy and paste. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just copy and paste. I couldn't do it. So it's <laughs> like I don't put any of that in there. I just like put it in. I'll show you how. Aww. Okay. Aren't you a sweetheart? <laughs> you have a text session. <laughs> do you think you could have one with me? I'll let you know. <laughs> I'll text you back later. <laughs> Will I have hair by the time we're done? <laughs> Will you have hair by the time we're done? It's like a challenge. <laughs> they are going to make another good video, right? <laughs> we're having oh a lot kind of video ideas tonight. <laughs> this is amazing, guys. You guys have been so awesome tonight. Thank and it's so nice to get awesome. one of those We've been talking for a while, like, seeing each other's work for a while stuff so it's really a pleasure to have you on tonight oh thank you and it's so much fun to have been here and been invited so thank you so much i missions on sunday it's like well <laughs> except certain times of the year i won't say it because heidi will smack me oh my god can we not get started i'm this? not gonna say it because she'll smack me no i have to say no. it. no i say it in every one every live stream i say it you know i gotta say it what do i say heidi I'm not answering. <laughs> the only time she's saying thank you so much for having us. <laughs> we had so much fun. <laughs> no, I look forward like every night. It's like, okay, eight o'clock. It's like, I got this. So I'm like, okay, I'm there. And like, then Sundays comes and it's like, crap. Now what do I watch at eight o'clock? It's like, damn, Aww. there goes my freaking entertainment. Aww. And then it's like, except certain times of the year when my show is on. Walking Dead. Oh, for I said it. Heidi oh. hates it. Here we, go. Here we go. She had to say it. <laughs> I love The Walking Dead. And that's the only time that, and I'd still watch you. I would just have you like beside me as I watch my show. Oh, see, it, but see you're not on Sunday, so I don't have that. I love problem. that. That's amazing. <laughs> that's so, it's so Thank nice you. to hear stuff like yeah, that. No, and we is. do hear that. And, for some people that never wanted to do a live stream, never wanted to be in front of a camera, it still blows me away how this has kind of come up. And when people say stuff like that, it really means a lot. It's really cool to hear. No, I really do. It's like I look forward to it. It's like, okay, 8 o'clock, Pusa. It's like, okay, <laughs> so 8 o'clock, cool. got to miss this one, going to Pusa. Sometimes <laughs> I'll, like, try to make it between two. And it's like, oh, that ain't working. Okay, back over to Pusa. And it's not that I'm trying to ignore anybody or no. anything. It's not that at all. It's like sometimes it's just hard to get mm -hmm. in everyone. Or sometimes I'll leave a little bit early so sure. that I can get into the other ones. Because you feel bad Yeah, it's like okay. if you don't get into them. But, yeah, usually I'm... Terrell beats me here, usually. Yeah, Terrell's our original. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's funny how <laughs> Terrell became our original, too. She just kind of came right into the scene. I think it's just we didn't have anybody at the time to do yeah. mon. She had been there for the first two just by chance. We're like, yeah. guess what? You're a monitor. <laughs> <laughs> and just really jumped. And then we had our other guy uh, that was a monitor. We don't know what happened to him. Train, Train man. man. Yeah, well, I think he got banned or something. Yeah, because he was all excited because we found out he was it. having his 10th birthday. So our second <laughs> <life>. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was quite something. For a while, he was all gone. There's Lopsy there. <laughs> That's I like thought sometimes that was... with some of the gaming channels, you don't know how old they are oh, when I they thought... come in, and it's like 
you, you like we'll watch what we say because it's like how old are they and then like she'll be over there on the side checking them out to see like you know roughly and how like, old oh, they well, are he's like 12 yeah oh yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, right. They have the naughtiest mouth of all. I'm just going to say that they're the worst of all for the most stuff. Like, that's where you really get the raunch, usually. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. they just learned all about it. So they're yeah, like, yeah. let me, like, write everything I just learned. I got to write it all down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got to be a big yeah. fool. I feel good about myself. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't even make sense. It's like, shut your mouth, you pussy dick shit fart. You know, yeah. they're <laughs> everything. every word they've picked up in the last six good months boo. is coming out. Yeah, yeah, we got the one day boobs. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, it, really? the and in their head, they awesome. feel like they're looking like the biggest man on campus right yeah, now. I showed them really what told them. I gave it to them yeah. real good. <laughs> <laughs> we always wonder though, why is it always guys and not girls that do that? Like that's my biggest question. Why do why does it seem like it's mostly guys that come in? And say rude thing. I mean, maybe there are girls that do too. I don't know, but well, oh, I mean, every guy does. Like, I mean, if I was that age, if I would have had all this when I was that age, I mean, I would have. You know, this is an open forum for guys. They have no brain at that age whatsoever, not even close. <laughs> and women are more snarky. You know, it's it's. I mean, girls they seem at that age. They're doing more like ignoring one or making one. It's a different way where guys just run their mouth. They just run it for the sake of running it. They're they're all like cock of the walk in their head and then. <laughs> You know, part of the pun again. Oh, no, that kind of sounds like me a little bit. <laughs> Watch out. No, uh -oh. <laughs> Just explain me in a sense. I can see that with her. I picture some six foot four guy that's cut you off in a parking lot and got one blast of shit from you. I can oh. see that. Let me oh, just yeah. tell you, I can tell you from experience, and I won't <laughs> say how, but Heidi has torn down a six foot, six foot two guy. No problem. No problem. I won't tell you who or how, because we don't talk about that issue, but <laughs> Heidi has torn apart. No problem. Like, she oh, yeah. has, like, yeah. she puts on them big girls, and that is it. It's <laughs> yeah. like yeah. the mouth, no. and you're down. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah, I, yeah, you're not to convince me on that one. She yeah. kind of like my sister got the same look in her eyes. My sister's really nice, really nice, but God forbid, because she's only like five foot what, two or something. Well, I was. Gonna I, wait, I call her. You're gonna say. I call her. Vertic I, call her I call her. <laughs> I call her vertically challenged all the time. That's what I call her. She's a vertically challenged child, and I've seen her yell at a guy six foot four. And she said, "I'll have to cut you off the knees with a chainsaw down to my level and kick the shit out of you." <laughs> And it was at a bonfire. We grew up in a rural area, and he, the guy looked at me and said, I'm leaving. He goes, I've never been so humiliated in my entire life. Like, <laughs> that's this one. Yeah, that's that's my She's done it. Yeah, she's done it. I'm, I'm a really nice person until she you say yeah. the wrong thing. Like, or if somebody says something bad about me one time, it, it had to do oh. with me. And wowzers, did this one go off. I was like, wow, oh. look at that bulldog go. Yeah, like, no. Wow. <laughs> I would not want to be on the other end of that. Yeah. <laughs> no. I, I know the look in the eyes. I believe you 100%. I can see that. <laughs> nice person, great person, but just don't cross. Oh, she'll I, do anything for you. She's yeah, yeah. the girl in the world. But don't mess with family or friends or her. It's like, you just don't do that. Uh-uh. Heidi will go mad dog. Like, no <laughs> problem. <laughs> I like a dog so much. Like, yeah. No, I don't. No, her mouth can tear you down like <laughs> I've experienced it a few times. Yes. <laughs> you know the receiving it. <laughs> then you know I had to give back a little Followed bit. Followed by the hang up. <laughs> then me calling back. <laughs> no, we love each other. We're good. Oh, that's part of it. I mean that's that's uh that's part of being close. You're going to have lots of times to cross each other's paths, good and bad. But in the end, it's more good than bad, I guess, is the ratio you want. Like, and you're old ladies, uh, some 85 years old and, and nine years older <laughs> in a grocery <laughs> driving each other crazy. <laughs> well, I told oh, her, yeah. I said, since I'm older, when I get older, she's going to have to change my diapers. <laughs> and she was like, yeah, no, no. it's not happening. <laughs> she's like, I'll put you in the home and then <laughs> That's why you had a child. <laughs> I don't want my son changing my diapers. Not my problem. 
that's why Xenia's my second marriage and we're 10 years apart. And that's why I always say she's my retirement plan. That's <laughs> yeah. I don't know how that worked out. <laughs> You'll be in the home, Andrew, or I'll be. <laughs> she's already taken care of me, so I guess I'm pretty much halfway there. <laughs> Yeah, like when we were first lived together, we were like here because we lived together in Europe for a bit. But when we came here, I was I went back to truck driving and we're out to Saskatchewan. I haven't done it years. Manly job, oil wells, hauling crude oil. Oh, wow. I would get sick and then I wake up and there's Xenia pet my hair and like holding the spoon to put the medicine. <laughs> in. I think I got this one and she's so mothering because <laughs> she's like pet me, putting the spoon. I'm like I, I'm okay though. <laughs> like, yeah, it is. Oh, oh, it is. It is. She she's very sweet. No, no. Because I won't touch you if you're sick. So that's really nice. <laughs> Heidi will not touch you if you're sick. Yeah, I might have a rubber glove on, like, patting your hat. <laughs> You'll get food under the door. <laughs> that would be Heidi. There you go, Heather. Your food's yeah. right there. Get up and get it. Fall out of bed and grab it. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. That my daughter, our daughter's gotten from you though. Yes, yeah. She's, yeah. she's such a mother goose. Like I got sick on the couch and I woke up and she had wiggled her way underneath to put my head on my my head on her lap and she was like five at the time. She just stroking Aww, my hand. Aw, that's so sweet. So yeah, that I guess so adorable. Yeah, oh my god, it's older boys. So I'm enjoying having another girl around. That's that's so. yeah. That the other so... two I think would just leave me for dead. It would be yeah. Like, <laughs> Although I will say when I first got sick and I, I had something happen and I had gotten out of the hospital and I couldn't do much for myself, I have to say that my son was the one that was helping me the most, which mm -hmm. amazed me. It was like, okay, mom, your medicine, it's time. Okay, mom, it's time. Here, I'll sit with you until you go to sleep. Okay, mom. I mean, he was just like awesome. When I first came out, it was like, wow. And then he was like, whatever, mom. Yeah, then he was like, whatever, mom. <laughs> As they get older, the boys grow out of that for at least a while. But at least they'll have a good foundation. To, 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 that's the main thing. Yeah, that's but, right. Yeah, boys, that's... definitely in their teenage years, they have a lot more trouble uh, connecting. <laughs> well, I guess that's yeah. what I'm for. <laughs> yeah, although, well, I don't know. Well, we're hitting that here. Well, yeah. yeah, Heidi's hitting it now with yeah. her... With her pre-teen, almost teen, kind of teen. Yeah, he's like doing what my son did, and it's like, I'm like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Well, he's like, up, he's down, he's nice, he's mad. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, he's like hitting that point. Slam the door, and it's like, whoa. But then the next second, he's coming down, like, hugging you. And yeah. I'm like, whoa, yeah. boys go through this? Like, yeah. I thought it was just girls. <laughs> no, yeah, no, no, no. Boys, boys go through I, Although I think girls are just, they, they're more... Well, girls are like that from the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I was gonna say, and it's not really a spurt; it's more of a lifetime achievement. Yeah, it's a like... lifetime of hell of <laughs> screaming and drama. Yeah. <laughs> Heidi has a mini her. Yes, I'm yeah. dealing with myself as a child. Like one day, I was literally talking to my niece, and we were having this back and forth conversation, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm talking to your mother." Yeah, and it's like this is too weird. And wow. it was that same snap back at me. And I was like, whoa. It was like, <laughs> she is like my karma. My karma, for sure. Mom said there would always be one. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That would be the payback. Yeah, yeah. She's quick to like, like I'm quick sometimes with my sarcasm. And she's she gives it right back to she me. She does. <laughs> and it's so, and I'm just sitting there going, wow, this is yeah. pretty interesting. <laughs> now you're going yeah, through it. It is scary or i'll hear her yell and i'm like oh my god is that what i sound like yeah, yeah. like yeah. <laughs> holy crap she sounds just like me yep yeah kids are such a reflection of us oh, it's my, like, oh my, my god do we actually talk like that my <laughs> oldest just, son is what i call my photocopy like it's like god almighty my mother warned me one day i'd be paying <laughs> yeah, right. like, like night and day <laughs> My mom cursed us for sure. I yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> well, the same as like, boys. You just wait. You just wait. We'll be like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Shut up. You know, <laughs> leave us alone. <laughs> That's why I like watching moms that have young boys because you all do the same exact thing. You want to raise them to be the polar opposite of every man you've pretty much known in your life. Yeah. And then it never works out by teen years. You always think you got to lick. I've watched so many moms feel confident. 
he's not going to leave a girl on Friday night and not pick her up in his car. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's or like, he's not going to go with that girl. Yeah, yeah exactly. Gonna he's going to want to know what she thinks. Would never say that. Yeah, he's not going to judge her by her looks. He wants to know what she's thinking inside. Ho oh, ho! Wait, till fourteen is coming. We'll see. Yeah, I'm right. Sure he learns boobs. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. And they got that look like a like a, a, a what do you call it? those machines? Those one arm jacks going around. But yeah. So much for the talking to her and getting to know the personality for the moment. But it will get oh, better over crazy. time. And yeah. with the internet the way it is, it's crazy. Like you try to like watch what they're doing. Yeah. Like they're smarter than you. Oh so yeah. It's like they're doing things and you're like, hey, how yeah. did you? I didn't know you were doing that. And it's like, wow, I thought that was something else. And it was like, hmm. I know I've had to go into all of like the apps and the chats and the, cause you don't realize certain apps have chats. Yeah. yeah. They're just like an app to whatever gaming or whatever it is. And then the next thing you know, there's like all these manly words. And I'm like, Whoa, I didn't know you knew how to say those words. And I keep thinking with a mother like this, you're doing those things. You should know she's going to go through your stuff. She used to go through my son's stuff for me because I didn't know how to get into it. She'd be like, give it to me here. I got this. And she'd be like, check that out. And I'd be like, Ugh. and I'd be like, Oh my God. <laughs> and she'd be like, I told you so. And now she's going through it, but it's horrible with the way the internet is nowadays. So I don't I'm know. I'm sorry, I'm laughing at Cryptic Cowboy. He goes, this is the YouTube version of The View. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 from bottle caps. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's it. He's filling the void of bottle caps tonight. I guess I'm going to do that. <laughs> That's what happens when we're talking. And sometimes I'll just glaze over the chat and I'll see one of those ones and like, oh, hold it together, hold it together. And it's usually when somebody's talking about something very personal. And you oh can't laugh God, at that yes. moment, but I'll look at the chat. And, and then I, I push him off. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen those moments. Now I know what's going on. Yes. <laughs> this is like laughing when we're talking. Something serious starts laughing. All and then my kitty was on his kitty cat was on his way to heaven, and I'm sitting there giggling on the side. <laughs> Like some bottle like, get yourself together. <laughs> <laughs> That's usually me. Just I like giggle at wrong times constantly. Oh shit! Oh One yeah. Time, we we're, we're bad. If somebody gets hurt, oh forget oh. about it. Forget about it. We like my son when he was like, <laughs> this is horrible, but he was like what five, and we were in Giant Eagle Produce. Remember? And he was walking ahead of yeah, us. He fell flat on. And his he face. fell flat on his face. He tripped on his own shoelaces, and so. What do we do? I almost peed my pants. And I started laughing. And this lady's looking at us. No, I knew my son was fine. I made sure he I was mean, okay. I mean, he hit pretty hard. Like, I he did hit hard. hard. <laughs> Face clamp. <laughs> there was no blood. So we knew he was good. And I did help him up, of course. But I'm laughing. Eventually. Eventually. It took us a minute because we thought it was funny. It was really funny. It was his own damn shoelaces. Like, how many kids? How do you do that? Oh, and so God. this lady's giving us these dirty looks. Yeah. Like, what the heck? And here's me and Heidi. <laughs> laughing. <laughs> <laughs> He was fine. There was no broken That was bones. definitely why I got in trouble the most in school. Because I would start to laugh. Like, when something got serious, like, oh. it would just, shit would go wrong in my head. And, like, I would just start laughing. And then the more they yelled at me, the more I would laugh. Yeah. Because it was, I fell in front of her car the one night. I was leaving here. And, <laughs> shut up. and her kids are in the car, except one. One's playing ba basketball while we're getting ready to leave. The other two in the car. There's Heidi getting in the car. And all of a sudden, I'm walking. And then she wasn't. And then I wasn't. I'm on the ground. Like, part of my foot, I swear, is, like, on her cement left. And she's just like, ah! <laughs> she doesn't come to help me. Nobody does. Nobody came to her help son me. is talking about a reenactment of what I did. And he's like, oh, and Heather, you just did this. I'm like, no shit. I'm the one laying here. So I'm in her yard full of bags. And there's my sister. <laughs> did you hit the car? And I'm like, no. Fuck, it was amazing. <laughs> it was not. <laughs> and then her daughter's like, oh, look, you fell in, Heather. 
One minute you were there, the next minute you were gone. One minute you were walking at the car, and the next minute you were gone. (laughs) But nobody helped me. Not even the one playing basketball (laughs) didn't help me up. He was like, can we reenact that, please? Can I make sure part of my toe isn't on your cement left? (laughs) That was funny. Yeah, no, it really wasn't. It actually really was. No, it wasn't. I'm 44 years old, and I have a friend that we were about maybe 10. You know, when the people make a wood pile throwing wood, it's like a big triangle, of course. Mm-hmm. Way. And he was at the top of it because he always needed to climb everything. He got to the top, and one foot got locked between the wood and the other, but the wood pile gave out. It's <laughs> <laughs> like a 45. <laughs> And do you think I'm 44 and mature enough not to laugh every time I tell this damn story? Or every time I see him, I picture it happening all over again. He was there for 10 minutes. I couldn't help him. I kept laughing and laughing and laughing. And he's holding his groin. He's on a 45. It's the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. So well, I stupid. I finally had to say to Heidi, I'm like, okay, there's no skin left on your driveway. So you can come over and help me up now. And she's like, I can't. She's like, oh my god, that was too good, and oh, I should have caught that on the phone. And I'm like, that was me? really funny. I'm like, Heidi, I'm like dying over here. I just re-injured myself, probably. Your son won't even help me up. It's like, come on, <laughs> somebody. And then I like limped into the car, and that's all she did the whole way to my house. <laughs> you idiot! You dumbass! Like, I just kept replaying in my head. I can't help it. I always fall in her driveway. It never fails. And she thinks it's hysterical every time. And she's like, well, you're the dumbass that keeps doing it. And I'm like, I'll learn how to walk right. Well, this this is where Xenia is going to squeeze my ankle, but I'll give everybody a little adult swim tonight since we're over the 1030 mark. Uh Uh-oh. We grew up in Quebec. And, of course, Quebec is mostly French-speaking here. And I'm working... (laughs) I'm working with a guy in forestry, and he's thir- he's worked for 30-some years, I kid you not, in a French theater group touring the stupid province and decides he wants to be like a, a woodcutter. He has some dreams of like a scarf around his waist, you know, the da 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 all that crap. So they put him with me. So I start to decide I'm going to teach this guy English, and he's a god off of me. God. He doesn't like this story. <laughs> so he's older than I am, so I decide I'm going to start teaching him English. So his name was Miguel Filio. And then he said, well, how do you say my name in English? And I said, well, you don't say it directly, but it translates. You would say it in Scottish. You'd pronounce it, me load Philly me kraken. Eh? <laughs> For four months, I got this guy calling me all the time. Bonjour, Andrew. Say me, Lord, feeding me crack and keep on like tell him talking. It. And he's telling the four, he's telling managers, he's telling everybody this stuff. I taught him the wrong word for everything you could use that whole fucking summer. I swear. Oh the chainsaw, if you correctly you translate it in English, was called the jism jaws. <laughs> so he goes to my forestry manager and he says, I can't get it started. The jism jaws are stuck and he's telling me. I tell them 45 words they all summer. <laughs> oh it's just stupidity like that all the time. <laughs> just, yeah. So, yeah. Oh what should God, you do? You do a different language. That's something you would do. That's something I would do. If you knew it's something. Hard to pass up. It's such a golden up. Op- we had another kid that was 15. He wanted to be friends with one of my buddies. He comes to me oh and how do I say I want to be your friend? And we said, oh, that's easy. Oh, God. Go over to him and say, Joey, Joey, I want to come in your mouth. Eh? So he starts <laughs> practicing and practicing and practicing. And he's like, I want to come in your mouth. I want to come in your mouth. <laughs> so he's trying to take out his confidence up. So my friend Joey's leaning on the bridge like this. We're all swimming. He walks over. He's like, <gasps> taps him on the shoulder. Right? My friend Joey turns around. Joey, I want to come in your mouth. What the fuck is wrong with you? And he's like, freaking said, Joey, come on. I want to come in your mouth. He's like, putting the mic like, oh. oh, That's terrible. Oh, God. That's so funny, that's a- though. Oh my gosh. Now I can see why. Now I know who will not be teaching me French. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we will 
not ask you to do teach us any French. Any language help. No. We'll learn it on our own if we want to. Rosetta Stone. Rosetta Stone. Sorry, That's what she wants to teach me Russian, but I'm scared for her to teach me in case she does that to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, because you do. You speak Russian. Uh, oh, Latvian, wow. Latvian's her native language, and then Russian secondary. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my father was uh, Russian. Like ha I'm half Russian. My my father's side uh, came from Russia, Karelia, and Moscow. Mm -hmm. So yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> I could teach you some. <laughs> Lat no, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I don't trust anybody because of my own stupidity. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yes. Their language is really hard to Latvian. It's like a very old language. And we were saying the other night, like even plane is pronounced Lido Machina, which is flying machine. It's like wow. almost like direct translations of everything. Every word, depending on the tense you use it into, is a completely different word. Like if you're buying pork, looking at pork, eating pork, pork is three completely different words with nothing in common and stuff. And Oh that's my, so crazy. That's yeah. weird. Not weird, but I mean, no, no, no. Yeah. Yeah, just, it is weird. It's no. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my goodness, that is it's cool though. Yeah. I mean, I think it's cool. And there's syllables, like all the syllables have like when kids learn it, there's syllable arrows going up and down because you have to sing it like like Japanese. It's like a sing oh, yeah. language. So like next stop is Nakama Bieta, but you can say Nakama Bieta. Da, 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 da. If you don't say it that way, the word doesn't make any sense. So I would I would be, I would have failed. Yeah, I would oh, yeah. fail. I would have never learned the language. I fail at language in there. I've yeah, been there for a hundred times and I only learned turtle, I think, is the only word because it was so friggin' hard. I said I'll never learn it. It's the only one I still remember. Brunio Rupitus. Is that how you say turtle? Is that how yeah. you say turtle? Holy yeah. heck. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so that was my yeah, that was Yeah, I would have never learned that language. I'll I would have been with turtle. Yeah, uh, I was stuck with turtle. <laughs> well, the English is spoken there in most parts, like uh, except in the country where uh, Pusha is an act. The name of our our channel, of course, is uh, an actual town in Latvia. Oh and, wow! Yeah, that's where her mom grew up. That's why we named it because her mom died of cancer, so we named the channel our business after her. Oh, that's so cool! Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. Aww, yeah. that's so sweet. But she kind of we started it not too long after she passed. She was young; she was only fifty-five, and. Uh, her grandmother actually passed away. It was five years yesterday. Yeah, and my grandmother. Her grandmother passed away, and then her mother passed away three months later. And she was. Oh my god! Oh, Today's my grandfather's passed. Yeah, your grandfather's oh anniversary. The full month. Uh, this month is just. <laughs> That's why we got married in the end was because I didn't want to get married again. But after, I mean, she was twenty nine. She's seven thousand kilometers from home. There's no parents or grandparents, so. Figured it kind of stuff. So yeah. That's it. Oh, no, <laughs> well, the first one did have such a great track record, so I just so was kind of sweet. Things are adorable. Oh, um, thank you. <laughs> we are sometimes. Are. Sometimes, yeah. Depends <laughs> when you catch us. Yeah. When I'm not talking too much. <laughs> Oh my, God. oh my God! Well, we had a business before this. We had a business in Iceland doing weddings. That's what was yeah. our other business. Well, you got married in Iceland, right? Yeah, and then we started I the business. Heidi Yins got married in high yeah in Iceland, and that you had a um, what did I call it? A Viking what? A Viking yep, wedding. I did a I Viking, Viking wedding. Yeah, I said it right. That was all in Giant Eagle. This was all in Giant Eagle. Yeah, oh, was it? Store today. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this was, I got everything at the grocery store. So people in the grocery store know but that you, you guys... were married in Iceland. In a, in a <laughs> well, I'm touched. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad we were for, I'm glad it was a for discussion. <laughs> we spread it around. Yep, See, there's our way. Oh, look how beautiful. They, they, she had her dress specially yeah. made for that, I think. <laughs> It's from a yeah. TV show called Vikings. We brought in screenshots. It's on the History Channel, and they recreated the dress from uh, Floke and uh, Elgin. Oh, Floke. my gosh. Look at yeah. that. That is so pretty. Oh, Ooh. that is so cool. I have it on automatic, so i got to talk if it's for it to stay on. <laughs> That's why I keep jumping and just saying little blurts, because otherwise... Wow. It... That but... is really, really beautiful. Yeah, it was, it was what nice. inspired you guys to have that type of wedding? Well, uh, I, I, we're both Catholic, and my first wedding was Catholic, so I would have had an annulment, and I wasn't really 
going to pay a priest a thousand dollars to let me get married again. And yeah, I always wanted to go to Iceland, and she knew that, so she kind of played a fast one with me on Iceland on that one. So it was a double whammy, but it was good. Well, he had proposed yeah. to me before, like yeah. a, a couple of years before that, uh, but you know, life life went. <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, came in place and stuff. And then uh, we were talking after my mom passed away that winter. We were talking, and I always knew that Andrew wanted to go to Iceland because he did this project in grade six about Iceland. Yeah, and always That's wanted true. to go there. So uh, you know, I kind of second proposed him, so to say. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> do it in Iceland, yeah, and yeah. and yeah, we, we talked about it in February, I think. Yeah. And got married on first of July, which is Canada Day. Yeah. So that uh, way I can never Iceland. forget my anniversary. It was yeah. <laughs> and we <laughs> <laughs> also because Iceland is right in the middle, you know, because, um, you know, my, my close family has passed away by that time and, and wow. you know, wouldn't drag all my extended family over <laughs> here. And um, Andrew's mom doesn't fly, so he wouldn't be able to fly his family over there. So Iceland was kind of like the middle point of because the the fish fisher half of it meets like it's half the north american plate half the europe plate is what makes iceland it's where the two plates meet yeah you can actually oh. touch them with the, yeah. like stand in the middle and with one hand touch uh north american and the other the european plates so yeah. we wow. thought it would be a really symbolic and then we really just wanted it for us that we didn't even take kids with us nope, for the yeah. wedding because you know it was we have been together for a while by then so it was more the celebration of of us like the love and and, and family and life together so it literally was just us photographer yep. his wife and and a priestess that's all yeah well, that's really beautiful that's a really nice story wow. we found her we found her she had married another couple but we had to try and find her so we had to Xenia finally tracked her down she found the photographer in Chicago who then put her in touch with the couple that got married. They were from Colorado who then put us through to the priestess in Iceland and then finally got her after what, two, three months of tracking her down. And Oh my goodness. Yeah. It was kind of a, it was weird there because the tourism's so high, nobody needs the business type of thing. So they just yeah. sent a call back. So like, oh, even, wow. I, think her, I think what, two and a half months. Yeah. Something. And that's why kind of inspired us to do the business as yeah. well after doing all that, because it was so such a hassle to get it through. I mean, by now, now it's a bit different yeah. than it was a couple of years ago, even, but then it was hard well, so it was a lot of work. for people to do it. So that's how yeah. we started business there and, and photography and all that. So It's called Whale know. Bay where we got married. It's about 40 kilometers outside of Reykjavik. And that's a 700 year old Viking site where we got married. Oh and my gosh. Down from the priest's home, and there's a actually about 50 feet away from it, it's a full uh, skeletal remains of a big whale right across the whole part. Oh, that's cool. Oh yeah. my gosh, it's amazing. And wild Icelandic horses running like you know, it's like stampeding all through mm -hmm. the country, like you go out on these volcano plains, and there's hot water. Like we found them just by going on YouTube and these like behind the scenes places, and there's like 30 degrees Celsius water just naturally coming out of the ground with rocks put around it. Yeah, if any of you go into the... Iceland, uh, message me. I have the GPS con coordinates for yeah. all of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they pop in and out all over the country. Some of them are scalding. They're almost 200 degrees Celsius. Like they would scald you on contact. Oh, my God. Everywhere. And that, but other ones are in like just, there's even a river that's at like 30 degrees that you can like float into the whole way down to the, the hills, like, you know, kind of. That's it's so neat. That's amazing. Yeah. Hey, I think we should go there and leave the kids and everybody home. Honestly, you it's want one to go to Iceland. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely worth it. It's cheaper yeah. than going anywhere else. Surprisingly, yeah. the wedding was cheaper than making it at home. Surprisingly, and it is the most like anybody who ever goes there always want to come back. Is yeah. call, call it Iceland Club because it's just so different. Definitely. Wow. You know. <laughs> and the Blue Lagoon is probably the biggest, it's the biggest tourist trap, but it's the biggest example of that. Uh, I'll just show you a picture of it. It's a byproduct of the Reykjavik power plant because everything there is heated with these geothermal waters. So oh, the, the locals used to jump through at night over the fence because they got to cool the water with the water with seawater. And this is what it looks like. Oh my gosh. I think I've seen pictures of that before. Yeah. I think I have too, but I didn't that's, know it was that. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, and it's only like 10 minutes from the plane. So some people fly to Europe through Iceland Air, which their plane stopped for a couple hours. They jump on a bus, go 10 minutes, sit there for a couple hours, then jump back on their next flight that connects them to where they're going. Oh my goodness. 
Yeah, that would be really cool to see. Oh and that's God. a power plant. That's exactly it's the only power plant in the world where you can actually swim in its byproduct. You know, that's so see there the power plant is just in behind here. It's oh, just, is that weird? Yeah, you definitely can't do that in America. That's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or anywhere yeah, else. Exactly. Really. <laughs> like five arms. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, be like a ninja turtle. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Yeah, no, it's it's a really it's an amazing place. It's and then you can find those natural ones we were talking about. They're all over the country, like in farmers' fields and stuff like that. And they're just, that's amazing. And some of them are hundreds of years old, and it's like old Vikings that put just rocks in and made like a little temporary like place to sit, you know. And our daughter that's fell amazing. asleep in one one night. We, like Zenny was holding her for like three hours, and the. Yeah, I Lana. like even better those that are off the grid, so to yeah. say, because sometimes it can be just the two of you, you know? Or yeah, yeah. Else. So nice. It's cool, though. It's a really cool place. And that water will leave. It's so hot. It runs through the road, underneath the roads there, and it heats all the roads. And Iceland's not as cold as people think it is. It's a way warmer than, like, Canada and those places. Wow. So it heats the roads so they don't need any snow plows because it's naturally heating it. They don't almost have no snow anywhere down around Reykjavik and that. Oh, my gosh. And they grow everything in greenhouses. So you're going to see greenhouses all over the country. This water reroutes through all these greenhouses and naturally heats them. So they even grow bananas and stuff like that. Oh, that's super Raspberries. Cool. I didn't know that. Yeah, so almost nothing is shipped in there. They grow it almost all themselves. And then it goes into the town and then heats. So instead of a hot water tank, they actually have a cold water tank that steps down your water, cooling it off to drink. And it's all that's natural. That's amazing. I always yeah. thought it was like barren. Well, it is in places. It, but that wasn't because of volcanoes. Everybody thinks it was. It was actually from the Vikings that cut all the trees down. Mm -hmm. Oh. And then the sheep yeah. came and grazed and yeah. ruined all the land. And then that's why it's flat. <laughs> now it's got this thick moss over yeah. everything. But it's just like rocks that you would see in volcano rock. Like you used to use in barbecues. Yeah. Covered in that with like a big thick moss over it. And it's, hmm. But it's coming back to replanting trees and stuff. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so it's a cool place. It's really it's it's amazing. It's you can drive anywhere. Everybody speaks English. The roads are easy to navigate. It's I would have never thought any of that. I would have thought the opposite. Yeah, of course. I, I, most people do actually. It's uh, it, no, it's we've taken the kids. We spent six days in a Honda Civic with no hotel with our two kids, four and eight year old. <laughs> <laughs> And then stopping at these hot water plates. Because you see in the summer, it's the uh, midnight sun. It doesn't get dark. Because you're right up by the Arctic Circle. So it's Oh, it's, okay. It's okay. Big. Just kind of looks like uh, dusk, you know, a light dusk. You can still see where you're going and stuff, unless there's clouds and bad weather. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to go to Iceland. Yeah, let's go to Iceland. We'll leave everybody else here at home. And in Reykjavik, is very trendy. They got all, like, those Norwegian-style pubs, you know, with the neon light. All the guys dress up in the vests where they got the mustache, the, the rings, and all the women oh are, like, goodness. dress up. The food is really chic and stuff like that. Oh, we definitely need to go to Iceland. Why are you feeling chic? I'm feeling chic. <laughs> and I think you would find for each of you something that you like there yeah. because there's so many things in a small like uh, distance, so to say, to enjoy, uh, you know, uh, glaciers and geyser geysers and black sand. And uh, the fish. In, if like, you eat hours, fish, everything is fresh everything. there. Like if you eat every restaurant has their fish brought in, caught that day. So like with oh my like, goodness. Fresh cod just coming right off the dwarfs and then the mongers bring it right yeah. to them. And they have direct yeah. flights from the East Coast. Uh, so. <laughs> it's actually a cheaper way to go to Europe and you get a free stopover so you can do two trips <laughs> in one. That's oh their big God. selling point. That's what bailed them out because they were almost bankrupt in 2008. Oh, I and, didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, that's what saved them during the economic crisis. They were almost going to have to go to Russia at one point. Yeah. And they just put the last of their chips down and realized people don't always want to spend two weeks there. So yeah. they said, fly with us to Europe and we'll give you up to seven days. You can get off the plane and get back on with no uh, uh, charges or fees. Oh, so we definitely need to do one. it. Yep. Heather. Oh, okay, they have Heather. direct flights from Pittsburgh. <laughs> there, free, there you go. Direct from flights from Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> I just checked. <laughs> All right. Wow, you may see you know. a vlog coming from there now. <laughs> <laughs> we will be watching you from there. <laughs> uh, check out Wowware after 
sure. Uh, it, it, it is, it is uh, yeah. worth checking it out, definitely. Uh, <laughs> Sorry about Iceland. Once we get talking about Iceland, we can be very yeah, long can't with it. Sorry. Yeah, oh, my goodness. It, it, it's going to be another two hours if we talk about <laughs> Iceland because this is... <laughs> Yeah. We just we just love the place. That's probably our favorite place we've ever gone. I would say pretty much. So, well, I think that's a pretty cool wedding that Ian's had. Yeah, oh, me too. That beats a lot of them. Oh, it was, it was just we wanted to do it our way. I've seen what a big wedding, and I'm, I'm laughing with it now. But I seen a big wedding brought me absolutely no more success than that would have been anywhere else. So yeah. it's not about the size of the wedding; it's what you want to do. And this one, we did something for us instead of pleasing a bunch of other people being exhausted. We did for us what we wanted to do. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely the way to go. It that's is. what it should be about. It's sad, you know, like, and everybody says they want something different. We watch that because we do some weddings, photography, and video. And they say, oh, we're going to do something really special at ours. And we're sitting there, and most of the time it's like, we don't say it to them, but it's like. <laughs> you want to know, <laughs> know how much is a one-way trip from Pittsburgh to Reykjavik? <laughs> Well, what's the round trip price? <laughs> you're staying there. You're never going home. Come back. <laughs> well, it depends on the dates, but uh, it goes as cheap as hundred and twenty nine dollars one way. What? What? That's cheaper yep. than going to Florida. Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm that's you got to check the dates to what to combine it the cheapest way. But the cheapest is hundred twenty nine, and if you put the dates correctly to to do a uh, round trip, you can go as as cheap as three hundred bucks round trip. We could do that. Oh, we could do that. Yep. Check and it out. Come there uh, to Reykjavik directly from Pittsburgh. Check it out. I just put random dates in here and then. <laughs> Yeah. The hotel, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or just uh, yeah. sleep in the car. But this is the best way to do this. <laughs> we travel kind of weird that way. We like to, we, yeah. but we push every side. We come home so exhausted we can barely walk. It's not a type that everybody likes to travel. Yeah, but they way. have them. Um, they have yeah. uh, tons of hotels, and they're not expensive. There are lots of different types of, yeah. uh, you know, from high end to hostels or to like uh, those cells that they have, like um, yeah. um, like in Europe more we don't want to go to any cell, yeah, <laughs> no I know. cell. I, i'm trying to decode what she's saying right now i've got a worry no answer. the automatic hotels you know where they have their room but then you don't have to register with a person it's just the machine oh yes yes machine, yeah, it's machine like driven that. it's kind of like a hostel type of thing but the room is oh small. okay i was yeah. gonna say a cell yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah i know i, I, know. I, I was with you on that one yeah we could end up in a we cell. We could end up in a cell. Remember those exactly <laughs> stories we were talking about? <laughs> so yeah, it's one of my stories. But uh, no, no, that is different types and different prices. So check it out. Yeah, that's what we, people always is like, what? It's so cheap. But it is. It's cheaper than to fly anywhere, really, uh, from anywhere you are to anywhere wow. in America. Yeah. Wow. You can go to Iceland cheaper than Florida. Yeah. yeah. Well, especially us in Canada, because we're ripped That's off royally crazy. here. The, the fly is insane, mm -hmm. like the the cost of it. So that's why it's cheaper to go to Europe, really, in the end. It's too huh. bad. That is but. crazy. Yeah, I'm going to have to look that up some more. Well, there yeah, you go. Don't forget about me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to get a phone call. Hey, guess we're on that. Guess what? <laughs> If you have any questions, just yeah. uh, just message us and uh, we'll try your help. That's our daughter that we oh, took. Oh, look how beautiful she yeah. is. She's sweet. Yeah. She's our little Viking girl. We're using her over there. We did a photo shoot with this company. Oh, my that gosh. Made... She, she looks is like... gorgeous. Yeah, we worked with Icelandic Knitting Association, and they gave us uh, two uh, sweaters from this Icelandic sheep. Oh, my gosh. She's so cute. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Proud dad got to show off. <laughs> I seen her. Yeah. I was going through the pictures, but oh, she's adorable. They have sheep over there that's been there since the time of the Vikings, and they have a special type of wool that's water repellent, so it's illegal. They don't allow any other sheep from anywhere else to be imported to taint oh this. Oh my goodness! Huh? I did yeah. not know any of this. I so thought the... Iceland was boring. Well, oh, no, like that. Barren. That pattern on her on her uh, sweater is like most kilts in Scotland. They they're like family uh, family crest. You know, they have a yeah. family because most of the women in Iceland actually have red hair in that because they were all brought over from pillages and brought there. So most of the women actually have Celtic blood, where most of the men are Nordic. 
Oh my gosh. It's not, it's not like Norway where they're almost all uh, uh, the Viking blood. Yep. You know how we say that we are not experts on things? Well, Iceland could probably be one of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> that we are because mm -hmm. it's just because of the business and we did so much uh, like traveling and business with there and research. I and grew up that, in a very so. small town in eastern Quebec where nobody went anywhere. And I, I had a school project. We drew names out of a hat for a country to do a project. And I got Iceland and I was terrified. And you can imagine what a school back then in 86 had for information on the best. Yeah. Yeah. You had to go to the library and actually oh, yeah. look, up stuff. look it up in the yeah. encyclopedia. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was about 10 years out of date. You know, that's so <laughs> yeah, right. tribute to a king that was dead for like eight years already. <laughs> it was scary, but, but by the end, that was my dream place to go. And it's so weird now. It was such a dot on a map for so long. And now I can go to Reykjavik and actually kind of go around where I got to go. Like if you say we got to go to a bar, oh, we'll go to this street. And I find that so amazing. Or drive a couple hundred kilometers. It's mm -hmm. like, oh, yeah, I'm going to take you to this place. You're going to love the view. And it's so amazing. It went from such a dream for so long. So we know who to call. So, Just yeah, yep. call up for us. No problem. <laughs> and we won't have to plan anything. <laughs> or you can meet us there. Or we you can... can meet us there. Uh, oh, that would be great. Don't tempt yeah. us. Yeah, yeah that would be <laughs> like, it's, it's our favorite place. Yeah. <laughs> you might regret that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we'd have fun. I think we would have a good time. Yes. <laughs> Guys, we better let you go. Yes. This is so amazing. I didn't realize we the time. We never realize the time. This no, is uh, awful. We should put an alarm on or something. Oh, it's after 11. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes. You're amazing. absolutely phenomenal. Thank you so much yeah. again. Uh, but you. But you're so phenomenal. Much, so much love. My God. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm going to go back and frame now for a minute. I'm Are you? I'm allowed back in at the end. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, he's back allowed to frame. That's right. Yo, Yo, this was really, really cool. Thank you oh, so much so for having much. us. Thank you. It's not a good show without great guests. And I mean, you guys were at the top of the list. It was so much fun and there's so much to talk about and stuff like that. You guys really have a, and you know what? I can't wait to celebrate your 1K because that's going to be coming anytime. So thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. We, we're work gonna up. we're gonna celebrate it too. I'm looking forward to that. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make other pops and bottles. <laughs> <laughs> It's just gonna video it. <laughs> we may have to edit then. Yeah. <laughs> Do it live. <laughs> Don't think you'd want me to do that. Right? <laughs> Thanks to everybody that joined and, yeah. and was in here tonight with us. Oh. Thank you. It was uh, you guys brought a lot of people in that we didn't have here before, and that's always great too. It's good to meet new people. That's what keeps like that we said, fun. we have a good group, and we yeah. wanted to introduce them to Yins because that's this is a good group. And we kept like telling them we're with this good group. We yeah. know this group is gonna like this group. Yeah. And so it was like Going when together. we were getting on here, I like DM'd everybody. I'm like, uh -huh. okay, we're gonna be there. We're gonna be there. And I sent out all these DMs. I must have like drove people crazy. <laughs> And, <laughs> and they came, including my son, which I'm completely shocked. Yeah, that, <laughs> that was so cool, though. They came in. I thought that was really nice. Yeah, so. chat loved the live stream as well. Yeah. Lots of amazing laughs. There yeah. are people uh, saying now, too, uh, was the best. So uh, thank you so much. Um, <laughs> Crypto Cowboy was a bit on the view side, but I didn't bail. Well, that's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> I think we were much funnier <laughs> than the view. Yes, yes. Way, way less serious. Thank you so much. And thank you to everybody who came. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for everything tonight. And we gotta keep in touch, okay, guys? Yes, definitely. For sure. And you guys, I guess we'll end it because I don't know where to push. I got I got it. Here. <laughs> don't worry about no. that. Don't worry. Have a great Bye. night. Thank you so much for your time. Bye. Um, that was amazing. Yeah. It was. Oh my yeah. God. So much time. My jaw hurts. Yeah. Yeah. No. God. The time <laughs> just kind of went by. Like... Yes. My goodness. So, yeah. um, thank you guys for sticking uh, with us. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much. That was so much fun. <laughs> Feel bad for Donnie. Yeah. Please be safe. Don't yeah. fall asleep. You're going to work. Wake up. Wake up. Uh, <laughs> Remember, you used to say that to me all the time. Yeah. Wake up, wake up. <laughs> uh, Susie, good night. Uh, and Oreo Kid, now you're in our group. So yeah. welcome, welcome. <laughs> Everybody's welcome. That was a fun Yeah, much there. more laughter than you. That's so true. <laughs>
Thank you so much. And uh, welcome, everybody who was new, who yes, came together definitely. with Beauty and the Bird. Hope you can come back again yes, and uh, for sure. join our laughter. Tomorrow night, we got Night Shame. Night Shame. This is going to be great. I'm looking yeah. forward to sitting down. And it's it's going to be interesting. Yeah. Uh, very interesting. So check it out. And Friday, we're going to have some yummy, yummy, yummy food channel. Oh, my God. It has to. That's going to be good, too. We have to eat before we go into that yeah, one. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Definitely. So definitely looking forward six times a week. Sylvie, I want to say thank you. The Quebec Connection. Thank you so much for coming in tonight. It was such a pleasure to have you here. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Um, uh, Mandy NRG, new to your channel, but great stuff. Thank you so much. I hope you can make it back again. We're on every night, like I said, 8 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, Monday to Saturday, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern. We're here with guests every night, except for Tuesday when we have Tuesday Tech Talk. Beauty and the Burr was our pleasure. You have nothing to thank us for. The pleasure was all ours. Oh, you yeah, guys we enjoyed it so amazing. much. Yes, it was so. amazing. And Plum yeah. and Epic, you will have to rewatch it now. Yep. <laughs> and anybody else who wants to be on, please uh, send us a message yes, on Twitter because uh, we got some spaces open and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's, yeah. it's nice to chat and, and yep. uh, see, uh, like I was telling to Beauty and the Burr earlier on Twitter, everybody gets a little, little jitters at the beginning, but. Uh, I'm yeah. sure you girls uh, lost that uh, uh, definitely by the end of it, if not earlier. It right? goes good, so. and within a couple of minutes, you, it's not that we forget the chat, but we're watching it. But the ones, especially the guests, they tend to forget that the chat's going because they always say at the beginning, "Oh, I'm going to keep an eye on the chat." And, and it's not that they don't care; it's nice that they do that because then they get lost in the conversation, and that's what helps with them. Oh well, yeah, so. that's what we're having—a yeah. conversation in our living room, uh, yeah. literally, just uh, you know, yeah. screen in the middle. But really, <laughs> yeah. we're all here at the same time. So happy nice. Canadian! Uh, amazing lineup of guests. Well, yeah, and you were one of our past guests. I mean, uh, I was just course. redoing all the thumbnails and stuff like that. And I, I did one. I did yours today, and I got you, and I cut out the background, put you behind the Canadian flag, so you go back and look at our old. Uh, thumbnails you'll uh the new thumbnails i should say you'll get to see it yeah if you have been a guest on our show go and check it out uh your thumbnail probably has changed uh so if you're curious you can check it out uh not... yeah it's just i say i say this uh, article oh, oh okay 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 it was so <laughs> weird it was so like you mean hacked or something I save articles on Facebook that I want to read sometimes, and then they pop up, and then it doesn't know what the <laughs> yeah. hell she said there. <laughs> That's what happens with the Especially most. this one had a naked guy in it in a thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> God, jeez. <laughs> yeah. No, it was from a group <laughs> about ME, so I wanted to know. This natural journey. You checked them out, the thumbnails? Excellent. I'm glad you were another. I'm so glad you got to see them. Yeah, it was, and that picture of you guys looks awesome. And you see these thumbnails, now they get to show that more. And it works better for the algorithm because you can see more faces and stuff. And like I say, we wanted to really kind of get away from the get away from the live stream thing and, and put it more as a series. Because as people are on here and say like this natural journey, uh, uh, they join, somebody new joins you. Well, eventually we're hoping that it will show up in their like suggested feeds because that's your name will be associated. And they'll get to watch it again, and they'll see it more as a, a series and not a live stream because people don't tend to. Oh, Kenneth, the Kentucky fam. Oh, I'm sorry, we're pretty much heading out soon. I'm so glad to have you here. As we say, we got night shame uh, tomorrow. I was just looking. Somebody wrote something really. Uh, uh, everyone thought the show was over. I think where is it? Somebody, somebody new here, and they just said they were having a great time. But yeah, Sylvie just... said I joined every minute. Uh, yes. Mandy, I uh, will say connected. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, yeah. And if you're new, don't forget to check out our, our cinematic videos. On, uh, you can find them in our playlist. Oh, there uh, it is. Liz's Beauty and Lifestyle. I will definitely watch more. You cracked me up. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> We're kind of a mix of everything. It can get pretty serious sometimes. A lot of people open up for a lot of stuff you didn't know about them. Yeah. But at the same time, too, it's a lot of laughs as well. Uh, cryptic uh, pusher, are you gonna do any more train vids? I have 135 gigs of train videos that I haven't even touched yet. I wish you would go and do some new, like, uh, I got so many to go through as it is, yeah. But just get into more. I think she wants to get rid of me. No, <laughs> get into groove, uh, more of uh, you know, just getting outside outdoors. I know you enjoy that. Oh, I know, don't I even know. have to record anything, just with a camera, <laughs> just, stand there and just, just looking at the breeze, you know. Uh, 
Uh, Hosier was I was in and out all night. Great live stream, fantastic ladies. Which is studios the best. Oh, you guys you. are the best. Without you guys, it's not a channel. You guys and the guests, like I say, easily eighty percent of what makes it what it is here. Be safe, Donnie. Mm -hmm. Yes, please do. Went for a long train ride from. Oh, that would be that's a beautiful ride. Because anyone would like that one. Now we need it. Well, guys, I guess it's that time. Sorry, the last couple of weeks, like I say, we've had a lot of real life stuff too, and I think we're just slowly losing all of the gas in us. But yeah, you guys people are, are like, phenomenal. "Oh, guys, I I can see in the chat like, oh, guys, you look so tired." Yeah. We're like, "Are you sleepy?" <laughs> no, this is our look this week. <laughs> New, coming in fashion from Push Studios. <laughs> This is our this week's uh, look. Hopefully next week it's gonna change. Cryptic says I know no train station in shop. Well, that was where I went. The you greatest the thing. Name, I oh, I love that. The greatest things about this live stream is you get to see the real side. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's what we're trying, uh, striving for. And I, I, I'm glad that uh, that's what comes out of it for you guys, too. Because we see the, everybody, we're all making videos here. We're checking each other out or live streams or whatever it is we do. And this is just, like we say, the onion effect. We're just peeling away and going to another layer and find something else different. Because that makes a great connection. Once you see somebody live, they tell you their story over an hour and a half. You'll always watch their channels differently. You'll always give better comments, I think. I think you'll always be more committed to their channel. So much more personal. Exactly. You know, the connection is for sure. Yeah. We have Blobbin Epic. Oh, what is it? Oh, you have eight minutes to burn. <laughs> we almost got it. No, seriously. <laughs> Don't remind if he's not talking about it. You might forget something. I was watching I was watching the clock, but yeah, I'm trying to. Uh, they all, if anybody knew or doesn't know it, they laugh at me because I have kind of an OCD thing, and I always try to end it off on like whatever time we started, either the half hour or the hour. Right? Yeah, get some mm -hmm. rest and work like that. Unfortunately, once we shut you guys off, then we prepare for tomorrow. Yes, exactly. <laughs> we yeah. get our stuff ready, answer the social medias. <laughs> It is a it's lot at least more... an hour afterwards that we are working on the computer before we even shut shut it down. I don't know, forty hours a week, but when you put everything together, I would say so. It's close to it. It's got to be a good thirty. Some hours. weeks more, uh, some less. Yeah. Like it depends how much in advance we have prepared um, uh, for stuff. Oh. But um, yeah. Thank you so much, Cryptic Cowboy. That's very nice of you to say. Mm. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself, Juliet, tonight. I put. Uh, I was just telling everybody. I don't know if you heard that I I made all new thumbnails. We rebranded re our. Uh, we now call them like episodes more than streams. And I did yours today. So if you want to go back and look, I went and took one from your uh, one of your videos and redid the thumbnail. They're a lot bigger now, and it's a great shot of you. It's actually really cool. I remember yours specifically. And thank you, Juliet. Very fun talk. And uh, I I see you're getting into the YouTube game more and more often. So. <gasps> Crypto Cowboy, I gotta do a Latvian eight man vid for you. I love it. Yeah. I love it. I, I like that Russian accent. It's interesting. <laughs> oh, you saw it already? Julie. Yeah, I Excellent. watched the video, yeah, today. Cool. Well, the videos that I promised yesterday that I had opened in the tab, I opened them and commented on today. So uh that's what I do after we 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 talk. Some of them I watched today in the morning. But yeah, that was funny. Uh I was going through Juliet's videos because I was doing that with everybody and taking these screenshots. And Juliet, you just have this way. You always look so, like, whimsical and classic all at the same time. I don't know how you pull it off. It's, it's like, even she's out talking. You know, she's, every time it's like the way she was her hair. And there's, like, because suddenly you got to, like, play and play and play looking for these great shots. But you're just like, that's a keeper. That's a keeper. Uh, classic. No, she's cla classically styled flower girl you know like flower child yeah which is very interesting combination yeah. like it is that flower child flair to it but very uh chic yeah yeah true yeah chic flower child it's just good editing all juliet no <laughs> there is great edit editing don't get me wrong uh, that, can't that, edit that no. so yeah that's all that's all on you that part classic so. chic flower child <laughs> it, it, it was it's, no because some i mean 
uh, some of them you got to go through a lot, and it's mostly like guy stuff, and not like some of them they don't show themselves in videos, and then they just do a bit of live streaming, and then it's bad lighting, so it's hard to get a show. In. Thank you, Natural Journey. It was it's very nice of you. Oh, he doesn't know about us, uh, Cryptic. Yeah, because I had added him, but a long, long time ago, and now with the magic of YouTube, it probably on some me. So, <laughs> Juliet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, it's a good way to keep God, the producer happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you're so funny. <laughs> there you see, Flubb and Epic is still. Actually, it would have to be about seven, uh, no, six minutes tonight. I think we went on at 801. I think we're and thank you all who uh, <laughs> tweeted out the, your selfie watching our live today. It was fun uh, to check that out. I, I think I retweeted all of them. That's cool. Uh, like that. So that was pretty fun. I love that. I want to build it more as a community that way and, and that kind of stuff. I, I really, I think that's a lot of fun to do. Did you see our uh, selfie that I did? God, no. Do you want to see? No. Do you no, want to share me. the screen and share your reaction? Uh, or do you want to share one? God help us all. Hang on one second. I know this is a big mistake, but I'm going to do it. Okay, so... Yeah. There are other, uh, uh, yeah, just going on our profile, no black one, and profile, and there are going to be other people as well, and then you'll end up at ours. So. This feels like such a setup. So you I can, can show other now. people's too. I can share it now. Yeah. Oh God, I hate selfies. I hate selfies. We are yeah. sober. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I said I still wishing for that baby. Oh, I love Doodle Doodles by Dugs. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I love, I love. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That is so cool. Uh, so, oh my god, how amazing is this? <laughs> I thought you would enjoy it. Oh, I love it. Oh, how mentally retarded is this? <laughs> uh, <laughs> on to the next sweep off. <laughs> Panic be got theirs in before I got yeah. the full hours. <laughs> I love it. Oh, oh my god. god. That's so cool. I love that. That's so... <laughs> Jeez. Oh, that's funny. Uh, oh, uh, and Epic asked, is this direction you saw of this live stream you go 61 episodes later? I don't know if we have enough time for that. Yeah. Are you ready for uh, that? That's a loaded. That's a loaded <laughs> question. Uh, in short, it's it's nowhere. We never when we did the first one was to celebrate a thousand, and then we people said, "Oh, you should come back on." So we did another night, and then I forget why we did that. We were we're gonna do the third one, and then yeah. we just said the hell with it. We're sitting here. Let's go on for the yeah. fun of it. And then that's when I kind of started taking kind of a form mm -hmm. of its own. We, and I mean that there's no acting coy or nothing. We really had no idea about live streams, how to do one, what we would do if we had one. You watched, if you go back to the beginning, it's nothing more than an evolution of flying by the seat of the pants. So, and I know, I know, for an epic, I know why you asked that. <laughs> I'm just giving my two minutes to. <laughs> <laughs> But you're like, in all seriousness, Flip and Epic, you're that great example of somebody who just came in like recently, even though we haven't been on for years or anything. And I just love how involved you are with this. Like, you're one of those ones right away. If you're not there, we're wondering what's going on with you. Everything's okay. And when you're here, you always bring so much great energy here. It is you guys that makes it so amazing. Uh, like Cryptic Cowboy coming back now. I like seeing that. You know, we connect the beginning. Yeah. And seeing you come back. Oh, uh, and then the ones like this natural journey. I mean, how amazing is that to sit down uh, 12 uh, hours ahead in time zones and having lunch and watching us? Irvin to paid tourist sitting there, like enjoying, you know, his time at night and sits down to watch us. I, I think it's absolutely amazing. 
oh, you looked amazing, Irvin. Honestly, I'm touched by it. I mean, really, yeah. yeah I was a LOL, truck driver it too. was the public post. Yeah. <laughs> no, but look, really, you're too critical oh. of yourself. <laughs> You guys are absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. You all have that been. was so amazing. Thank yeah. you so much. And all the retweets as well. The uh, within hiking distance here too. And uh Ed Joey and, and and others here too. Thank you so much. Um uh, guys, just have a great night. You take care of yourself. Um Thank you for everything that you've given us. Like I say, we're going to be able to apply for monetizing tomorrow when two months ago that was so out of the realm it wasn't even worth chasing. You gave us over 200,000 minutes in 60 days. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> this is one of the, your moments. Yeah, yeah. which one? It's not been epic. Aaron to pay tourists, I'd ask you out just saying, <laughs> and I'm a dude. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, cryptic. Most of the time we are. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> yes. we are. I mean. And we are sober and we are like this. <laughs> yeah. Imagine, imagine. Yeah. Uh, Val's life, that's okay. Uh, come yep. back tomorrow. We're here yeah, every day, 8 p.m. Eastern, except for Sundays. Anytime you spend with us, even you can just drop in at the lawn, just say hi, is truly appreciated. Yeah, and uh, the Queen's Princess, uh, same goes to you. Sorry, we are just about to jump out. But uh, if you follow us, tomorrow. if you're new here, just uh, sign up. Uh, Click our uh, button and bell, and we'll be back tomorrow, less than 24 hours from now, with another guest, Night Shame. Mm -hmm. This is going to be really cool, guys. This is yeah. going to be a really good one. Uh, <laughs> you guys take care. Love you all. Thank you for everything you've given us, and keep giving us. Cheers and keep creating, guys. Bye now.